Cool. All right. Salamat sore taman taman. Welcome back to another episode of Collaborators Without Direction, a tabletop adventure game where the players explore the Southeast Asia inspired lands of Yun Suen. Currently, we are using the White Hack rule set. My name is Gobin, my pronouns are he, him, and it is my task as referee to narrate the world around them as the characters seek adventure. We'll pass it off to our first player tonight, which is Maggie. Tell us your name, your pronouns, and remind everyone of who your character is. Hello, my name is Maggie. My pronouns are she and her. I am playing Hokuma, the wise heart stealer, um, who's, who's looking pretty rough right now. <laughs> Probably the least wise thing you could have done uh, is to follow us into this d death. Yeah. <laughs> Same could be said about Billy's fortunate slug. Uh, the least oh, fortunate yeah. mistake he made was uh, <laughs> coming out here. Yeah. It's true. We are truly God forsaken. We Indeed. really are. Uh, and... Actually, no, I think we're blessed with an abundance of gods that are bad. <laughs> mm, yes. <laughs> I don't know, you look an awful lot like the god of lies. <laughs> That's such a shitty accusation, dude. <laughs> what can I possibly say to come back from that? <laughs> All right, and our other player for tonight right now. In introduce yourself. Who isn't me? Yes. Zach, oh, introduce right. yourself. Alright, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm Zachary Deering. I'm Zachary Deering. Or Zach, my name is. Uh, yeah, my pronouns are he, him, and I'm playing Bruscoso, the uh, Dwinde, uh, the wise, wise ass. Um, and. I completely thought you were talking to a non-existent Billy. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you got so flustered, you started introducing yourself like you were introducing yourself to your homeroom class. Yes, correct. That essentially very, very briefly became that. <laughs> All right. Yeah, good enough. Uh, awesome. The crowning achievement of of any stream. <laughs> good enough. <laughs> Technical difficulties. All right. Yeah. Awesome. So, see, this is like the good shit that's hidden off in the fourteenth episode, and like people have to stick around to really find it. But the people who yeah. pull through are gonna be like, "That was hilarious." Oh. <laughs> Anyways, before we get started, if you missed any of the previous sessions, I recommend going back and watching them on the Collaborators Without Direction YouTube channel when you have the chance. Uh, we've been having a time playing through Deep Carbon Observatory, and we'd love you to join us again now on with the show. When we left off last time, the Collaborators were gathering, uh, gathering their breath after all their comrades were killed by the Canopic Guards and the Crystal Ball Trap. Picking their way into the next room, they found a black and white chessboard pattern floor with more canopic guard statues and disturbing faces embossed in the ceiling. They searched desperately for the trap they intuited to be present, but eventually decided speed was more important than extreme caution and rushed across the room to the door without incident. Arriving in the next room, they saw a similar chessboard floor plan as in the previous room. However, the alternating black tiles had fallen away to reveal a deep pit, and at the door across the room were the crows. Echo was helping Zamrud, who had desperate, who was desperately clinging to the ledge. Hokuma prepared to cast a miracle using the body of Tiferet. Gar sniped Hokuma with a special dart that left a long silver wire trailing away. Echo hit Hokuma with a throwing knife and then tangled her with her uh, chain sickle. Seeing their comrade in danger, Doc, Doc Levinson stepped into uh, stepped in to inform Echo and the rest of the crows that they will be shitlisted by House Aplesia if they kill anyone in this room, <laughs> and then advanced into the room holding their shield aloft to protect their comrades from further ranged attacks. Echo, not wanting to call... <laughs> Call the bluff just yet. Release Hokuma from the chain bindings. 
Hollow took off down the hallway with Muna in tow. Uh, Buscoso assisted Hokuma as she used Tiferet's dead body as a focus to force Echo to pay her karmic debt to Tiferet. However, as the miracle was about to take effect, it was redirected along the wire of the Thalmo conductor dart towards Hokuma herself. Acting quickly, Doc Levinson pulled the silver wire and absorbed the curse, but was barely affected as they had accumulated almost no karmic debt with Tiff. Hokuma wasted no time cutting the wire to prevent any further mishaps. As Gar prepared another shot from his blowgun, Buscoso played his trap card to reverse the flight path of any blow darts. Echo hauled Zam to her feet, and the crows retreated up the hallway. Having survived nope. the altercation, the collaborators crossed the room and posted up to recover. While Notably, they, rested, they listened to the bureaucrats trapped in the pit below and attempted to piece together what they could find or what they could of the language. All right, that's the recap. <laughs> nice. It's yeah. Notably, my miracle with the uh, with the blow dart is still active. Yes, it it is. <laughs> <laughs> I was like thinking about. Like, weighing that back and forth, like, does this work? And I was like, yeah, sure, okay. It's just it's just active, indefinitely. Well, it's a very specific trigger. <laughs> it is a very specific trigger. Um, uh, and I would guess that if I tried to hold it for too long or something, I bet it isn't, like, indefinitely as in, till the end of time. Well, it's until this Yu-Gi-Oh! game ends. <laughs> yes, precisely. I feel like... <laughs> exactly. It's the yes, trap until card... this Yu-Gi-Oh! game ends. Yeah, precisely. Until someone's life points goes down to zero, and their soul is sent to the Shadow Realm. Or someone is... plays Mystical Space Typhoon. Yeah, or that. <laughs> Alright. So... Now you find That's yourself... That's a fucking miracle name. <laughs> Alright, uh, y'all are on that one. Okay. Uh, now you find yourself walking out of the back door of the Dolong Dam and into the sharp afternoon light. You stand on a small terrace. To your left, stairs descend towards a pool at the base of the dam, where the inky black waters of the Nung River form a large pool before draining through the chasm in the dam. To your right, the stairs continue upwards. Before you is a view of the bottom of the lake. The view is soundless and stinks like an airless tomb burning in the light of an unwanted sun. Sunlight gleams oddly in snatches of bright reflections off the valley walls. The valley floor is a blue-gray muddy expanse. The whole place has the feel of a terrible revealing like a black sheet pulled back from a naked corpse. In the distance, you can see the dissipating pillar of steam that was visible all the way from Vendrandop as it rises from a huge uh, wound in the earth with regular stepped sides. Surrounding the pit are housed-sized onyx blocks with towering spikes threatening the very sky. Atop these towers, curved mirrors focus a blinding amount of light inward at the pit. Between the dam and the pit is a jumbled pile of sticks or straw or reeds. Movement is visible in the area, but it is otherwise indiscernible. And finally, emerging from a black pool at the base of the dam are pale amphibian figures. Hmm. Uh, one red figure seems to lead them. It gestures violently, and they move into cover among uh, features of the muddy valley floor. Oh, fuck. Don't like this. What would you like to do? Uh, let's try some diplomacy. D Honestly. So, so these because... amphibians, like... Uh-huh. About, like, how far away are they? Just, like, they're, roughly? They're at the bottom of these steps. Um, you are a couple hundred feet up. So, you know, it's these steps are carved into the backside of the dam. They've been underwater for... A long time yeah um, like it's still kind of slick with uh, you know, oh, I imagine. that is that has fallen down over the centuries X number of years yeah <laughs> yeah so and this area where you're standing right now even though it has been exposed to the Sun has not been like 
had it's not like the pit that you can see from here where it's just like being baked in the uh 20 hours of direct sunlight a day yeah <laughs> this side of the dam is like pretty hidden from direct sunlight so you're in shade the 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 steps are kind of slick but are not really an issue if you're not trying to like run up and down them okay you and... aren't trying to do that are you <laughs> i'm saying it will be a problem if you do <laughs> yeah i know yeah um that is a see. potential future hazard i think between all of us we don't have enough rope to just rappel down no i think you've only got like 50 feet uh, so they are like this this uh staircase does end pretty much right beside where this pool is you know maybe a dozen yeah. feet between the pool and the bottom of these stairs and there's the crowd of these amphibians is sizable at this point it's close to uh 50 of these amphibians that have come out of the water that you can count and you're not sure how many are still in the water, but they are continuing to come out onto the land. Yeah, we're not going to win this via combat, so we should at the very least try and talk to them, and if they don't seem amenable to that, I'm think... not sure how many other directions there are to run. <laughs> My first thought is, let's interact with them as little as possible. Uh, <laughs> I mean, on one hand, yeah. On the other hand, so are there any exits? Wait a minute. Here? So there's a golem behind us. Yeah. Yes, somewhere. It has somewhere not behind yet. us. Yeah, it has not caught up to us. But like, which is good. If we took our time, our so like Echo and crew, mm -hmm. they also left out of this exit, right? The exit Are they was visible open anywhere? When you got there. Hmm? It was between between the last room and your current space. It's just been a hallway. Yeah, there's so they have been, nowhere like, else they could have gone. There have been gone. embellishments on the walls, but they're more like frescoes and stuff like that, not like statues that they could have been hiding behind. Yeah, yeah, so they've, so, like, left through this space if we haven't run into them. Right. Unless they were, like, not clinging to the fucking ceilings. Um, which, which is also possible by this point, frankly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like... Let's not entirely discount that idea, but the fact that we have a golem close behind us is maybe useful in the Could sense be. that, like, if we took our time and we're slow, then, like, with luck, the golem will just start fucking, like, just, just, just like, just, like, doom slayering these fucking amphibians. Yeah. And just, uh... we could just walk past well, we can just leave. <laughs> yes, the uh, the problem with that, theory, that's the true. current kink with that plan is that they are moving northwards. Ah, uh, so they're moving towards us. No, 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 you are to the south. You're just, like, above them. Like, okay. physically above them. Let me, let's oh, go to so the they're moving map. away from us. Let's go to the overland map. Yeah, that I would was be about helpful. to say, I'm not not 100% clear, honestly. 15, 6, and other mutterings. Whoa. What? Vision. Wow, yeah. Now we see a lot. Yes. Well, everything's gray for me, so I'm maybe going to reconnect. So it's all oh, gray. Well, everything's, not, everything's not gray for me. Then that's probably on my end. Give me yeah, it's very colorful, in fact. There we are. Yes. Okay, so I, can, so I see I a lot see of things. It. Holy shit. I see. <laughs> so that is the pillars over there. Oh, I gotta update it for the, the stream. What too. pillars? Hi. Like the towers oh, that they those, were talking yeah. that Go was talking about? Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Yeah, these are things that you can uh, see from this distance. Fuck. Yeah. Man, this place is evil. <laughs> yeah, we already knew that, but we're 
learning that more the more we learn about it. Yes, the, every single step along this way, I've been like, fuck. Yeah, fuck. Not... Yeah, this is so far out of anyone's fucking pay grade. Yeah, honestly, we should just glass this area, just in general. Find <laughs> yeah, I'm like, where's the covenant? Yeah, just find find a fucking like find fucking a fucking person who can use a tenth level tenth level Vancian magic somewhere. Borrow them from another fucking campaign world if you need to, and just just fucking cataclysm its ass. It's just like like a Tarask would be preferable. <laughs> Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, just looking at this map, I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. A Trask, a Trask would could make market improvements to this landscape. In yes. Fact. Yeah, just tear it up. Yeah, like honestly, not gonna mourn. This uh, this entire area should be designated a nature destruction zone. <laughs> yes. This nature will not be preserved because it's yeah. bad. Yeah, this... Most nature... Alright, let's preserve it. This nature... Mm, we can do without this nature. We'll have <laughs> other natures. Yeah, this is... Uh, we'll have others. We'll, yeah, we'll this, get... This may be a heritage site, but it's a heritage site that uh, can go fuck itself. Yeah, it's... It's a heritage site in the same way that... Uh, that you know, putting on white sheets in the middle of the night in the south is theoretically heritage. <laughs> <laughs> Which is to say... Not the good type. Not go not the good type. Yes. Uh, <laughs> There's a sort of heritage that you cough about and then hope that everyone forgets as fast as possible. Govan, Govan, is this an ancient nuclear disposal site? Yeah, this is something. Are there glowing cats? You haven't seen any. That's true. And this is way too weird to just be nuclear shit. <laughs> no, what I mean though is like, just the giant tower, so I'm like, wait a minute. And the giant fucking onyx blocks. Yeah. <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that this isn't a nuclear disposal site in so much as it is a something else ceiling site. <laughs> yes. A holy fucking shit disposal site. Yeah. Well, um, so yeah, so they're, so okay, so these amphibians are coming out from sort of near where the dam is and moving north. Yes. Yeah, and you this... can see this, this space down here, uh, yeah, from this space they Sorry, are moving need to readjust. northward. <laughs> yeah, they're and this space here. here is where, oop. This is the there yeah, that's the pit with all the light shining on it. Yep, the and those are the pillars around it. They're not, wow. they're not actually this far away. I just okay. wanted it to look impressive on the map and had the space around it. <laughs> okay, okay. That makes me a little bit less alarmed because I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. Yeah, yeah it's was... not uh, 18 miles in diameter. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, It is, however, fuck. like... Like, these, these pits are ob clearly hundreds of feet tall. Yeah. Or these spikes are hundreds of feet tall. The pit itself is, you know, hundreds of feet across. Like, you can see the, like, detail of it from here, so you know that even though it is all of these miles away from you, it is, has to be huge. Yeah. Yeah. Also known as, yes, it's not as big as it could be, but it's still fuck huge. <laughs> okay. So, and this, so we're on the back side of the dam. Mm -hmm. So they're maybe moving, it's going that way. So we they're, could they're just... They're amassing here. Well, you can't, you can't go here. Because you, you either are going to have to, like, wait for them to move. Uh, however long that takes, you're not sure, because they're still, like coming out of the waters or you can go down and uh, risk some sort of encounter with them or trigger some sort of encounter with them one way or the other however y'all decide to so well we're out of the dam right yes yeah. you're out the out the back door 
So do, 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 looking out my back door. Yeah. <laughs> Look at all these cursed creatures. God, why are they living? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, um, all right, let's see. So what's that other, is there another bridge in between us and there? What is that? Yes, Are... uh, that is. Like that it's presumably not another bridge dam. of black stone, weed, rock, and fallen debris cover at both ends. And on each bridge post are stone crowns of a particular design. Particular. Mm. Yes, which you are too far away to investigate at this distance. Yeah. Well, it is I mean, without a spyglass. So <laughs> where are we? Where are we? I guess my question is, what are we trying to do now? So we've investigated this dam. We found out that everything's fucked up. That's my, uh... That and is my there's conclusion. treasure. And there's treasure here. It Honestly, I know that the adventure wants us to continue somewhere, but, speaking honestly, <laughs> like... Holy this, shit. This is pretty damn, uh... You know, this is pretty damn, um... Oh, Whoa, I didn't mean to do stop. that. <laughs> Luckily, there's, like, nothing else. Like, this is basically the yeah. last section on the map yes i can see that further north there is a great uh horizontal flat line which marks the edge <laughs> of the world <laughs> yes. so so i i wasn't too worried about things past that but anyway um yeah, same with all these like impenetrable yeah, mountains. mountains yeah it's <laughs> let's go that way forever guys and derail <laughs> anyway let's jump into the let's no clip yeah. Well, you know, after a little while, rocks fall and everyone dies, so... There yeah. is that. <laughs> if you no-clip far enough, you reach the kill box. Yep. <laughs> they are, in fact, quite close together. So what are you? What are y'all going to do? I guess, like... Keep, like... Keep, like, I, we need to descend at some point, because mm -hmm. we can't go back, because Golem... And we can't, like, like going forward is amphibians, but amphibians, we can maybe... I mean, here's the thing, though. Again, what I was saying is that there's a shit ton of treasure in this dam. Yeah. Which was our explicit purpose for coming here. I mean, my first thought, like, Hokuma <laughs> well, why is first Hokuma thought, here? at least... Yeah, Hokuma wants to find knowledge. Oh, um, well. And has she found um, that? I don't she give, has not. I don't give a damn about that. That's not my, she ain't my employer. <laughs> That's true. Um, it's very true. But also Hokuma also point. wants to not die. That's also true. That's so, the thing, is like the wisest so, knowledge of all is to <laughs> know that you don't want to die. <laughs> yeah. But the direction that not dying is is in seems to be somewhere away from where we are. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ideally, I would sprout wings and fly. <laughs> yeah. But I think that would take too much HP. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Hokum is, is is isn't in that kind of state right now. Um I I think so peering over like the edge of these stairs. Like is there a chance that we could just just climb down? Cuz I'm trying to think of like because, like, the base of these stairs, like, leads us basically right where, like, amphibious people yeah, are coming out of the water. Are. Yes. Yeah, the, the stairs lead you right there. Uh, coming yeah. down the outside is not, like, these stairs are inset from the wall, the back wall. So that, like, if something were falling down, these aren't, like, on the outside where something would, like, catch if it fell down. Yeah. They're, like, inset. Well, I mean, it's just, like, it's just, like, the side of the stairs that's not stairs. Like, is it just a sheer face? So, the stairs are to your left, and there are more stairs to your right that continue going upwards. Oh, continue going upwards. Yes. I think we should go up. Mm. 
I think going down leads to, well, 50-plus amphibious people. Right. On one hand, yes. On the other hand, where do those steps go again? Up the side of the dam. Yeah. Uh, the I other th side of the dam, that is. What? No. The stairs no, like... descend to your left. Like, you're coming out the back door of the dam. The stairs descend to your left and ascend to your right. Okay. So the back door is not necessarily facing, like, north. It is facing north. On this north. map. Oh, okay. So then to my left would be the bridge, and to my right would also be the bridge. Yes, I know. I had to make it... I had to make the map... This is... Yeah. This whole thing is the dam. This is the back side of the dam. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so wait, what is the backside? The dam is three miles long. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got that. <laughs> so so you we're have... on... You're on the north side of the dam. Alright. So Where are the, the water stairs used behind to be. us, or...? The stairs are... You have come out of a hole inside yes. of the dam. Yeah. Onto a little landing. Yeah. And there are stairs that go to your left... And uh -huh. stairs that go up to your right. And left is down and up, and uh, yes. right is up? Yes. Okay, yeah, let's go up, I guess. Yeah, that seems like, you know, Less I, assumedly, yeah. since we don't see Echo going down, uh, Echo's going up, and Echo, for all of her faults as a person, seems... Uh, is a is the devil we know, <laughs> and not o not only that, but also seems like someone who's, at the very least, jo uh, idea is not to get herself killed, and has done a pretty All right. decent so job of it. So, you come out of the door, and you're like, "Well, let's go, let's go up to the right." And mm -hmm. as uh, you start making your way up the stairs to your right. Uh, mm -hmm. You can still, like, they're still open to the north, so that, like, you can see outwards from them. Does that make any sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll say there's just, like, little windows carved out, or, like, arched the windows there. there. Um, so after about, after walking up the stairs about 50 feet, you, a natural outcropping of rock has you find a natural outcropping of rock that has been carved to look like a huge stone door. Uh, it takes you only a minute to discern that this is, in fact, a fake door that is made, was made originally to look like a real door but has eroded away over the centuries to <laughs> be an obvious fake at this point. As you're yeah. walking back down the stairs, you notice that the doorway that you just exited out of is you know, if it were closed, it would be almost invisible to, uh, you know, you would have a very difficult time actually seeing it if it were closed. Yeah. Well, it's, it's a good thing we didn't have to come into this dam through underwater. <laughs> yeah. For a number of reasons. But it looks like the way we're going is down. And at this point, there are about a hundred of these capex. However, they do not... It appears that there aren't any more really coming out of the water at this point. All right. Well, we'll say, hopefully they can be reasoned we'll with. There. All right. So you're going to go down and attempt to talk to them? Uh, I'm nervous too, but I mean, we don't have a lot of options, unfortunately. It looks like. Yeah, cause like, I'm not climbing the dam to find to find out that the golem has finished climbing on the other side at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! You just like poke your head up. Finally, you crest over the edge, and it does too. Yeah. <laughs> You just make eye contact, you're like, uh, I'll just let go. Yeah, it's just like, well, time to end it. Yeah, I know what I, I, I know what I've lost, and I've lost. 
Um, <laughs> okay, so yeah, let's. Well I guess <laughs> I guess the Capex are what we're gonna talk to. We did encounter one a while back. It, we encountered it, uh, like a trio of them. Yeah, yeah, and they all had knives in each other. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Once again, we encounter Capex and want to say fuck that, but this time, <laughs> this time it's on. Oh yeah, you have encountered, you've encountered them twice at this point. This is the third time because there was yeah. the uh, the group that that jumped you. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully they won't jump us because we'll eat shit. Yeah, that is true. We shall consume. Oh, they're adorable. Matter. <laughs> of course they're adorable. Scrap illustrated them. <laughs> Sometimes Scrap's illustrations aren't adorable. Yeah. Speak for yourself. Can y'all see a health bar on it? No. Okay. I won't worry about making it invisible then. It's showing up for me, and I'm like, as long as it's not showing up for y'all, I don't care. Okay. Um, so we're approaching these Capex. I think we should approach them, maybe quietly. Uh, I think we should approach them cautiously, but I yeah. don't think sneaking up on them is a good idea. That's true. In most cultures, that's the sign of someone who's not your friend. <laughs> uh, yeah. Alright. Um, I guess I'll go first since i'm similarly short like they are <laughs> uh i'm assuming they're sh somewhat short you're basically well, I'm a not horrible really, like, little they i'm not really short like going off of initiative like who's going first who's who's doing like which oh, order yeah. isn't particularly important right now just yet we'll we'll do any sort oh, of like initiative yet, that's when we need promising to. <laughs> yeah. i don't know like there are a lot of them if y'all are just like we're gonna run up and stab one <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, well, now we need to do initiative. <laughs> a hundred initiatives. Why, why did you do that? I'm on the and edge of my seat die. too. <laughs> yeah. Um, why did you do that? You die now. Yes. Um, Are you right. sure uh, uh, I still you think want you to should do lead that? The, <laughs> yes, I still exactly. think you should lead the conversation, Buscoso, because I agree. You do look like a horrible little frog. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> thank, thank you. <laughs> Anytime, uh, my friend. Yeah, let's see. That just reminds me of a uh, mystery science theater. Anytime they uh, insulted the Mads, <laughs> it was just like, "Wow, you are a bunch of spiteful, uh, spiteful, twisted human beings." Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so all right, well, I'm gonna go up and say. Hello! Hello there! Okay, um... Yeah, uh, as soon place? as... You you make... Your, you walk down the steps, and as you said, you're not particularly attempting to, uh... You know, hide your presence. Yeah, and, not really. Uh, I figured they'll find... Is Hokuma attempting to hide enough. her presence at all? Uh, I'm it's gonna just go with the two no. of y'all for now. I'm gonna go with no, because, like, success or failure, like... What have I got to hide from? Success right? gives you little, and failure might hurt a lot. Yes. <laughs> and also, like... The sun right? bears down upon me like the judgment of God. <laughs> and also... And also <laughs> well, not and also, quite. You're like, in the shade right now. That's true. But also, you are on the like, north side and the sun is to the south. But the yeah, other exactly. thing is, like, is is there even gonna... Yeah, if I successfully hide from them and things go south, then I'm successfully hiding from them, at most, up until a golem shows up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. There is a so, limited yeah. utility, uh, sphere okay, of utility so, for it, yes. Okay, uh, so, yeah, uh, you both come, like, walking out of... The Not to stairs. mention, neither of us are, like, rogues, per se. <laughs> <laughs> You're not trained in the art in the art of invisibility. No. Yes. We're, in fact, um, in fact, Buscoso's made his living being very 
very unavoidably, unignorably loud most of his life. So... Yeah, you uh, walk out of the, the doorway at the bottom of the stairs, and uh, as soon as you do, and you're just like, hello there, like trying to um, not not be hidden. Uh, yeah. Uh, one, a trio, well, no, we'll say five, a group of, come on, focus. <laughs> Quintet. Yeah, a, a quint. Yes, a kink. Um, so a quintet of these little amphibian dudes uh, immediately like turn towards you, and they've got like spears and um, small like makeshift weapons. These uh, they're not armed are... with like anything super fancy. They've got like sticks with a pointed like scrap of metal at the end of them yeah they're not I mean, like we... you know high quality spears or anything like that yes um i mean TBH. so deadly but rudimentary is what i'm getting at yes <laughs> and they uh come rushing over towards you and uh where is their K pack K K K pack 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 pack. <laughs> All right, so they uh, rush over to you, and they are going to attempt to grab your arms and uh, disarm you of any weapons that you have. I'm gonna let them. Yeah. There's so many of them, and now they've come over here. How many are there? I'm guessing more than five past this immediate five. Like 95. Yeah, I was <laughs> kind of thinking so. So, like, I'm not anticipating a deus ex machina necessarily. Yeah, I, I think that's wise. Um, <laughs> Even yeah, if I the think... golem showed up, it's more Diabolus ex machina at that point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pandemonium. <laughs> yes. Pure and utter chaos. Yeah, I think Hokobo's just gonna like raise her hand like raise her open palms and mm -hmm. just like and just like whatever fucking happens, happens. Alright, so they uh Huh. So one of the things in Hokuma's possession is still Tiff's body. Yep. <laughs> That's uh probably not gonna look great for us no i think it'll look awesome i think new amphibian people have very different standards of carrying a body around than humans do yeah admittedly they this might be a much more normalized thing for them all right so they are going to uh grab your weapons and then hey. they keep grabbing hey, things off of you like they're completely stripping you of all gear of all everything that you have uh that you're wearing i'm gonna try like like dusting with my hands like a hey like come on <laughs> uh hey govin just mm -hmm. fair warning uh it's like 98 degrees here and my computer just overheated it looks like i've lost uh -oh. graphical output so uh oh dear. yeah it's like i think this thing is here too yeah i think it's gonna shut down in a second or two i still have audio for right now uh -huh. but I can't you're still see broadcasting anything. video amazing that's yeah, really just, funny still broadcasting well that's odd it the video out has died i'll say that well oh dear like it was nice monitor? knowing you, Zach. Uh, I'm so sorry you're about to explode. Yeah, it's very sad, honestly. But anyway, I will be back in a minute. <laughs> sure. No, oh, worse. Are you like Every... restarting it right now? Uh, well, I don't know. The question is, should I continue until it breaks, knowing that I cannot see the map or anything <laughs> going on, I or think interact you with it in any way? <laughs> Or, uh, yeah. Or... yeah, try, yeah, just go ahead and restart it right now. Yeah, I'll do that. That's fine. I have been keeping an eye on my CPU thermals. Sounds They're fine, good. but... Sounds good. 
Yeah, well, the broadcasting light went off on my camera, so I'm guessing that's out too now. Yep. Yeah. Anyway. All right. Well, I'll be right back. I'll switch to intermission here. You gotta, you gotta hold that up for the stream there. I had us on intermission, but fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a, this is a blessing. This, this is a good omen, Zach. Been, this is an omen. Yeah, of good things go will come of the. The amphibious, yeah. the, the the amphibious nightmare that we are walking into. Yeah, like th this face will be our face when <laughs> all this is done. Yeah. <laughs> Which is the... both the frown and the melting. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what are? Uh, yeah, they are. Are, um... are we back on yet? Yeah, we're back on. Okay, so good. Because strip... this is not gonna last forever. <laughs> um. So yeah. Hogama's gonna, like, sort of, like, in the way that you do when you, like, she's not gonna, like, swat swat, but, like, pat herself. Like, mm -hmm. alright, like, you got my weapons, like, 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 come on. Yep. Like, let's, 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 let's keep it PG here. <laughs> <laughs> alright, give me a, uh, give me a roll. Yeah, a I'm roll. gonna, well, I'm gonna try and do be? the same, actually. That would be, I, I think Charisma? I was hoping you weren't gonna something. say that, but I was couldn't think of anything that isn't that. Yeah, like you're trying to convince him to do something. That's charisma. I'm going. I'm going to try and make them feel like uh, feel silly for trying to pat me down. Actually, I think can I? And I'm going to apply my wise ass modifier to that. <laughs> I'll also ask, like, you know, I have the modifier of House of Topos Exile, and like just like the nobility. Of like, of like, don't touch me. Yeah, sure. Um, both y'all can roll with advantage. Both of those sound good. All right. <laughs> One of these is better than the other. <laughs> <laughs> well, I rolled as collaborators. So did we I. Both it's fine. Succeeded. So. Yeah. They both yeah. succeeded. Why is I, that? Like, they can definitely take my weapon. I get it. Like, I understand that. All right, Especially um, since I'm pretty sure that would have been a higher difficulty challenge. <laughs> well, I was going to do an auction if y'all did that. Y'all weren't really fighting it so much, so I didn't really go with auction. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. So they uh, strip you of all of your gear, and you both are like, "No, no!" <laughs> like, leave some clothes on, and they like ruffle around underneath and make sure you don't have any other weapons. And they roughly drag you uh, further up north here. I don't know. I'm just gonna put y'all there. Cool. Um. Yeah, and they drag you before the, uh, behind a small mound, there's been, like, a little trench dug out, and looking over the edge of the trench are, or is the red K-Pack. This K-Pack is, uh, the same size as the rest of the little white ones around it. Uh, it is the only one that is any different color. But it's red, so it goes three times as fast, if I remember Gundam correctly. <laughs> that's not Gundam, that's Warhammer 40k. <laughs> that, they got it from Gundam. It's... Anyway. Uh, the... Do I know... I have damn builder language, too. Do I know uh -huh. enough to, like, give a greeting? They aren't damn builders, are they? I have no fucking clue. They're fucking frog people. Yeah, uh, you have... No fucking clue. Um, you can you can attempt it. All right, I'll attempt like a greeting in the language of the dam builders. Yeah. Uh, do you have anything to, uh, you know, give you advantage with that? Um, Beyond like knowledge well, okay, of dam so builder it... language too. No. Yeah. Like. Well, okay. Well, I have mind. like I am a you... scholar. 
Yeah, I'm and not going to make you roll for that. You can figure out, like, just mm -hmm. a greeting. Like, everybody is good. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I think you mean to say, good, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just made them watch Backstroke of the West last night, so that's all yeah. fresh. I know. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh, I feel like now. a hopeless situation warrior. Oh yeah, we all are hopeless situation warriors, really. <laughs> <laughs> if we get right, through so this, we'll be hopeless situation you, elders. Uh, say, you say, like, hello to this thing in the uh, reed person tongue, and it turns and looks at you like, um... Like you've said something that is like disgusting to it. Like you can just see it on like in the expression on this red capex face, and it's just like very upset that you've said this, that, that you have addressed it like this. I'm gonna oh. try and distance myself from uh, my <laughs> cohort. I can uh -oh. go like, oh, I can go like, oh no, I'm gonna look disgusted too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, give me, give me a charisma check for that. Again, I think this is a wise ass appropriate. Uh, thing. Yeah, sure, sure. No, <laughs> You're oh, being fuck. ass to your friend. <laughs> How the hell am I Critical die? hit. <laughs> one Social one. That's pressure. You roll. So you're just like, you're also looking like you understood what uh, Hokuma just said. <laughs> Everyone, everyone around you, or around Buscoso, believes that Buscoso also has the context here, even though Buscoso is just, like, operating completely reflexively. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Buscoso's whole life, really. Um... You know, Hokuma, like, you know, like, hands, beso like, hands up, it's just like, sorry? <laughs> um... All right, so uh, noticeable things about this. Oh, I'm going to do a small thing, like, on here. So we can actually see these. There we go. Put him there. Oh. Little Zoom guy. On, on this scene. He seems significantly seems less good. cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy, uh, they are, the whole time that they've been dragging you, they've been dragging you and saying, uh, to Carl, to Carl, and they drag you here, and uh, when they get close to this, uh, red KPEC, they all start screaming, Carl, 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 Carl. Oh, I think we found Carl. Yeah. yeah. So, and then you say, hello, <laughs> everybody hello, is Carl. good. Hello, <laughs> Carl. Yeah, everybody is good. Everybody is good, and you, they're just like, ew. I'm going to just try and continue speaking in um, the trade tongue. Right. Presumably these people have lived, this isn't that far, it's the bumfuck middle of nowhere. But even in the bumfuck middle of nowhere, people do any amount of trading. Uh, <laughs> right, so uh, the, so a uh, little description of this bright red KPEC. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it carries a rudimentary scythe-looking weapon there. Uh, it has a necklace, and around the front of the necklace is just a, a human skull that you at first think is uh, golden, but then, you know, as you look at it a little closer, you realize it's actually piratized. So pyrite has grown on the outside of this. Like, it's made out of pyrite, basically. That's dope. And also, the Carl Kpec is missing, has a large scar over its right eye, which is, like, missing. It's just an empty socket. Also pretty dope. And uh, the Carl turns to you and says in a croaking voice, 
Uh, mm. Who are you? I'm Pokema. This is my companion. I am, I am Buscoso. I said, I yes, am... Yes, this is Buscoso. <laughs> uh, I am attempt... We are attempting to find out, uh... Well, at this point, we're mostly attempting to, is, uh, to not die. Mm. There's a... There's a... Yes, there's a we large... all... Many of us are uh, attempting to acquire the same goal. Yeah. I'm, I, Ain't... I, I'm, I'm glad you could sympathize with that. I was about to say... Not dying that... is preferable to dying. Always. Although sometimes you must risk dying in order to not die. Yes. That's true. I um, really don't want this to be one of those times. Yeah, this but is any... this is one of those times for our for my people. For too long have our ancestral enemies exploited us. They were uncontented with snaring us for vivisection, so they destroyed the Great Wall, stole the sacred waters, and brought forth the mouth of Yamalok. <laughs> and every time shit. he says one of these things, the uh, like crowd of Capex around it is like, like they croak in uh, louder and louder. Um, like he's obviously working the crowd up around uh, him. Ah, this is a war party. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, sorry. So... Who who are these oppressors of yours? We're new here, which is why he <laughs> used uh, bad words at you. She. Yeah. Why she used bad words. It, it, it's okay. I'm covered head to toe in cloth. <laughs> I was about to say. How do you, how can you non duende tell without the uh, without your beard stylings? I don't I don't understand. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the beard that is the clear definer of uh your beard line like yeah. a hairline for your beard yeah, yeah well uh well it's like you know there's different styles for you know that these things <laughs> <laughs> anyway um carl capex <laughs> yeah if i can call gender you politics aside <laughs> yes <laughs> if i may uh <laughs> Uh, you ask um, who, like, who his ancestral enemies are, and he says, oh, the cursed people of the reeds. Though the you reeds. look like our enemy, you do not decorate yourself as they. What role do you have in this disaster? We, we, uh, we, were, we were sent here from a faraway place to try to learn more about this place and as and we more... were miles away tremendous floodwaters came and destroyed everything <laughs> it wasn't so fun yeah we've had a bad time several villages so... are gone that kind of thing so you tell me that almost... you were responsible for stealing sacred waters no mm -hmm. No, if anything, the sacred waters stole us into a tree repeatedly. <laughs> but no, no, what, what you of know us where got, sacred uh, waters are. I don't know what the sacred waters are. No, Is that where? the water no, you behind? Said where? Yeah. where? Yeah. yeah. Is, Is that a... you know where it is? Like, he's was asking that the you... water that was held by this place? Is it the black water? Yes. Uh oh. Great water or great wall hold sacred water in. Okay. Uh, then it yeah, it's further down the r river. Yeah, we hadn't encountered it until recently. It, it hit us and then we saw it going that way. We we didn't <laughs> know that it was the sacred water. Um we would have stopped it if we had known or tried. Sorry about that. There was a lot of it. There's more than we could hold in our hands. In fact, uh, nearly died repeatedly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah some, like some people drowned. Yeah, admittedly, that's, there that's might a be word some... that 
he is just like you get the sense that he does not parse that word drowned yes some people desiccated in the air but underwater <laughs> <laughs> they they had yeah some people uh, were crushed to death okay but... um yeah so yeah you uh All right, uh, he's, um, like, understanding what you have to say now, and he's just like, I... You do not seem to have any context for the... the glorious fight between us and the ancestral enemies, but I cannot, at this late hour, allow you to continue forward. Okay, cool. Can we go you may backwards? Disrupt our <laughs> You may disrupt our uh Your war? Yes. Cool. Okay. We I, I we have no like like we're like That sounds good. Yeah, like that's cool. <laughs> that's super cool. I do have some Can questions. Can we have our stuff back? And I do have some questions real quick. You actually are the first person who knows things in this area, who hasn't also tried to shoot us with poisoned darts and drown us <laughs> and crush <laughs> us. We may have. <laughs> but yeah. you are not tasty looking. Yeah, so what... That's no, what I I'm imagine just, I taste just awful. <laughs> what I'm what I'm trying to say is you're the... F is that you're, you seem like you know what's going on, and we've seen a lot of things happening. Like, there are these gigantic rock uh creatures um that are um i guess i'm gonna try and describe the golem as best i can i'm gonna call them golems to some degree but uh i'm sure. gonna say and the water they seem to be powered by the water or something i uh, he knows he knows nothing of those Okay. Do you know anything about uh, a evil witch lady who uh, possesses other people and turns them into uh, their slaves by touching them and has an entire cult? Uh, Blackwater? Um, he also knows nothing of those. Damn, oh, I was gonna ask for a number. Man, there's a <laughs> lot of there's a lot of scary things around here. Um, uh. I wish you all. He, you say the there's a lot of scary of things around. He gestures around at his assembled warband and says, "Indeed, I know." Mm -hmm. the, yeah. the fact, normally, the, that the would more be you the like top. describe and ask all of these things, the more mm -hmm. a, it just seems like upset and like uh, in a vindicated manner, and he just says, must nature always be asked to straighten out the mess that man has made? So I don't know. Would, so it would seem. For, in this case, looks like notice, it. You'll notice I'm not one of those, so anyway, <laughs> anyhow. I, 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 I do have two questions. One of them can I have my stuff back? Because I like my stuff. <laughs> and I promise I'm not going to do anything to hurt you with it. I mean, it would be suicide to Yeah, attack. I would die. <laughs> and as we said earlier, we're here to not die. <laughs> In fact, we'd like to be far away to not die. Yeah, well, yeah says, honestly, I more and more, we you... just want to leave. I cannot give you, you stuff back yet. Yeah. You are still too close, and I understand you do not wish to die, but some goals are worth dying for, and I have, I do not trust that I am not a, such a goal for yourself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, not so yet, are, at least. Are, are we... So what would you have us do? Are we... I'm imagining we can't just leave either or something because that might be... I don't know. Bad, too. Um, so what... What would you have us do? I would send you forward with a group. 
you could act you appear uh, similar enough to the ancestral enemies perhaps you would be able to get a small group of of us uh, of the capex to within range that they may uh, perform initial perform assessments of the ancestral enemy you want us to act as your spies they're not enough. quite spy so much as meat cover. shield cover yes oh that's in more wonderful. ways than, in more ways than one yeah phys physical and social yeah. okay I have one more question. And visual. <laughs> what's the what's the sunlight pit? Yeah, that's um, a that's a great question, honestly. Yeah, it's spooky. The we'll say that the sunlight because the dam is very tall. <laughs> we'll say that uh, everything this side of like south of piled piled hives. No, not so where is it? What yeah. is it? What yes. do you mean? Like, the sunlight like to, pit. To, to Air Capec here. Oh, you're asking him what the pit is. I thought you said, what does it hit? No. No, no yeah. What, what's the pit? What's the giant sunlight pit? The mouth of Yamalok! Is that, that, is is that, that good or is that bad? That's it's bad. The devourer right? at the bottom. <laughs> ah. Yamalok eats your souls and tortures your body for eternity. That's bad. Got that's it. bad. That that sounds really bad. Understood. Uh, I don't like that. So, cool. <laughs> We're on. That sounds tentatively on your side. Got it. Yeah. It's, it, <laughs> Against the things that want to torture me for eternity. Yeah, I don't want that. Yeah. All right. Cool. Fair enough. So, uh, all right. Um, I guess my uh. Let's see. My only question is kind of this. Do you really think that I'm going to look like one of the Reed people? You do not need to fool them very... for very long. Uh, it is only enough... You only need to fool them simply to get a small detachment of my capex <laughs> to... I up to test them and then they will engage and several of them will return with, okay. with the information what happens to you I do not much care uh, I understand that and then I can get our stuff back if you you may have your stuff we will I will provide your stuff to the this group that you are to guard so that you may be uh, equipped to guard them Cool. Just as a, uh, just as one final thing, uh, like, I know we're not in much of a situation here to make any, like, uh, you know, things or anything, but do note that I am, in fact, a, uh, magic user of some repute, and if you guys just kill us and take our stuff anyway after we help you, I will definitely make sure that a curse falls on you with my dying <laughs> breath, just for the record. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this guy's uh, all about the curses. Meanwhile, me, I'm totally normal. Just everything <laughs> about me is normal. Hello, I am a totally normal girl. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Hokuma, uh, nothing How do you weird do, about fellow Capex? <laughs> or... Yes. <laughs> yeah, alright. Um... How do you yeah, do, my so... fellow people who experience uh, a, a normal relationship with human beings and living flesh? I'm actually hmm. going to swap kind of where these guys are at. Alright. I don't know. That visually makes it a little more... <sighs> yep. All right, so y'all are just going to go with these capex towards the. Yeah, that seems like the sensible thing to do yeah, at this point. No, I'm going to explode into a whirlwind of violence, taking as many as two of them down with me. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm gonna take a piss. Anyway. Alright. But um So I guess we're following this group of Capex and we're sort of providing them with like Like what are we walking towards? Um you are okay, walking presumably. towards the that's exactly what I'm trying to find the description of right now. <laughs> ah, yes. Excuse me. Where is it? There it is. As you walk towards the 404 file not found. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Uh, I, reload, reload. I'm moving too fast, and I'm like, the, the you know, the world has to load in before hasn't I... Hasn't loaded like... the chunks. You've fallen out of the world. <laughs> yeah. You no so, clip out. End like, of the story. <laughs> like, honestly, uh... I moved all of this stuff from the other side of the valley. Ah. <laughs> uh, like. Why'd you go and do that? So that you didn't have to bother crossing the valley. Ah. Uh, because it was way too long, and it is, it's longer than getting from Vendrendop to the dam. Fuck. Damn. And I was like, no, 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 we're skipping to the end here. So speaking of moving fast. <laughs> yeah. And we barely survived all it as is. It's just uh, I'm more interested in the content. Yeah. Yeah. I like the content where we don't die, so <laughs> I'm all for it. So you are uh, crossing over the valley floor here. The valley floor is a blue-gray bacterial mat. Uh, fish are everywhere. The corpses of the shoals form a new geography. Stinking embankment of parched skins and bones. Spread throughout the valley floor are strange, unearthly pseudobiomes which seem to mimic from a distance the fauna of the upper world. There are gray, spongy, spongy, densely knotted trees uh, that must have drowned when the valley was filled centuries ago. There are small spiked bushes that, from a distance, uh, could almost be round spiky shrubs and there are dark towers like twisted tiny little twisted towers of uh tiny black castles gouting smoke and like mud like this dark blackish mud is just spewing out of these like a geyser um, do, do, fun do. and you are walking towards the uh, over in this section right here, uh, there is a uh, the remains of what was a floating platform kept safe from civilization by the golems and protected from the golems by the dam. And now that the lake is gone, and this village has crashed in, has l lowered down and crashed onto the alien world that hid unseen beneath their feet for s as long as they can remember. Uh, they were lucky not to be swept out into the drowned lands uh, downriver of the dam. <laughs> and uh, you can see that they are... Um, at this point, building some kind of, like, reed fence around their, uh, their abode, and they're attempting to, um, dig, uh, like a small drainage ditch, it appears, around the outside of this fence. Sounds like fortifications. Yeah. You are, uh, steadily approaching them. It's, uh... I like how on top of all this supernatural shit, we also just have a full, like, we walked directly into, like, a generations-old blood feud war. <laughs> this is just, this is par for the course for our luck, but it is still nonetheless amusing. I guess, maybe, maybe what makes sense here, you, you, you tell me if this makes sense to you, Busco, so, 
So mm -hmm. I could try giving them the everybody is good treatment again. <laughs> and be like, hello, yes, it is me, a fellow person from this place. And then, like, the Capex could, like, you know, maybe I could get us closer that way and the Capex could begin their assault. It could be. And then we uh, hang back while the Capex do their business. Sure. I mean, assuming that the Capex want to assault instead of uh, scout like they said they were. Oh, is that what we're doing? We're just scouting? Yeah. In theory? I mean, that's we... what Carl Capex said, but he also wasn't exactly like, you're my most trusted subordinate, let me be completely frank with you. Yes. <laughs> um, do the Capex around us, when I ask them questions that would maybe have anything resembling a full sentence as an answer, do they give me any clear response? No, they do not. They have no fucking idea what you're saying. Okay. Um. That checks out. Yeah. Hmm. They know things like... Carl. Carl. Kill. Fight. Yeah. You know, very low-level rudimentary stuff. If I point at this, like... Vil rapidly fortifying village and I say like kill question mark <laughs> like kill 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 I mean kill, that could kill, just be a, ge a general statement though yeah. like they're definitely planning on that eventually yeah no kill question mark confusion they, yeah <laughs> they're they're very confused they're like what but kill okay I'd kill. Dude. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting nothing here. Um, so, I guess, like, yeah, I guess we try to sneak up as close as we can. Yeah, I guess so. With the Capex, and then see what they do. I mean, either and... the Capex die and we get our stuff, or the mission succeeds and we get our stuff. So... Yeah. Yeah, I'm just trying to or we suss die out, like... Oh, no, no, no. So, as soon, as soon as you, like, break away from the, um, the mass, I don't know what you would call it. Yeah. yeah. The main group, uh, they, like, have your stuff in disarrayed bags and <laughs> hand it back to you. So you have oh, all cool. your gear back now. Oh, oh fuck, cool. yeah. So they I love my shit. Mission. Nice. Okay, well, I'm... Yeah, they I'm... just didn't want you to be armed... Right up beside the Carl. Carl. Yeah. yeah their leader. That yeah. makes sense. I'll give the Capex who hands me my stuff back a little salute. <laughs> he probably has no <laughs> idea what a salute is. Yeah. He is, tries, does like the same thing back to you, but in like a completely like lack, like without the crispness of an actual salute. Sort of just like, you mean like this? <laughs> yeah. As I'm like, like, they're like, huh? close enough. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> close enough, honestly. Yeah. Yeah. We're not. We're. This is not Mulan. We're not training them to be. To be soldiers. <laughs> to be suddenly the seven hun. samurai. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Did they give me amphibians when I asked for sons? Uh, yes. <laughs> it turns out, yes, they did. So, um... I'm <laughs> just imagining putting his little capex through, like, <laughs> the training montage from Mulan. Just well, have yeah. them all <laughs> unanimously, like, going in synchronized uh, quarterstaff, you know, <laughs> things at the very end. <laughs> I don't know, these guys have, like, very strong minion vibes. Yeah, they do. Except good and not cursed. These are wholesome. <laughs> not so, stab um, my eyes out. Yeah, let's, uh... Yeah, I guess, like... Let's try to sneak up? I don't know, like, how are the Capex acting as we attempt to sneak up to this village? Um, when they get, like... When they get to a point where they know that you can get direct sight on it. They basically just 
plop down in this mud and are like worming their way forward through the mud. But nice. On all fours, kind of just like snake crawling because they're. That's awesome. Amphibious. Yeah, I mean, honestly, makes sense. They may not have been like chosen for their intellect, and they may not understand our language, but they've lived in like a swamp for like X amount of time. So anyone who doesn't know how to hide a little bit, whether offensively or defensively, is not gonna survive very well in a swamp, honestly. <laughs> right. Yeah, they do yeah. have this, like, animalistic intelligence about them. They're smart for an animal. Like, if you saw a dog, and you were like, that's a smart dog, they're operating slightly higher than this. Yeah. Yeah. And there's clearly smarter ones, too, because Carl over there had a practically erudite conversation about the local <laughs> geography and philosophical treatises slash political, socio-political situations of the area. Carl, Carl believes in a nation. Yeah. <laughs> a nation Carl's got an here. ideology. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, I guess... Yeah, Carl's about to form MSF. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, he is missing an eye. Or ASF, Amphibian Sans Frontiers. <laughs> yes. Um. All right. So yeah, I think we should maybe try to sneak up along with them. Okay. Um. They played us like a goddamn Dex, air I believe. <laughs> I think that's gonna be Dex. Dex. Yeah. Unless you can think of. Some, no, something uh, that else sounds to use. that sounds correct. Yeah, which is gonna be rough for Hokuma. I'm Big money, the, no whammies. Is I'm guessing the Ivory Guard. Wait, I had training in the Ivory Guard. They taught. taught Holy me shit! Sneak. I rolled a one. I love them. Nice. Ivory yeah, Guard. Absolutely, me to sneak. Zach. Absolutely. You definitely have advantage with that. Hell yeah! Two and a three. You were set. Yep. One, two, one, and, two three. and a three. Alright, we move like a fucking unit with these <laughs> <laughs> with these capex. Yeah, you definitely like get close and um I uh, will say that you like have snuck up behind um mm, you all are uncomfortably muddy now. Okay. Which doesn't mean anything yet. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so you cool. are... Uncomfortably muddy. I am Make pretty sure that. that I've been uncomfortably muddy since the start of this goddamn mission. <laughs> <laughs> Not untrue. All right. Yeah, um... Yeah, so you, let's say you get uh, close enough to these piled hives that you are able to... Um, I'll move I'll there, right up beside it. Actually, I'll probably move you on top of it in here in just a second. But uh, you get to these... And you're hidden in one of the... Uh, little petrified forests and there's like these small trees that were preserved and the anaerobic darkness and they are now wreathed in fallen weeds grown in the photic zone up above and uh, the branches have uh, slithering eels in the branches of these trees Ooh. it's pretty cool shame they're all dead they are not dead they're <laughs> slithering Oh, they're very much alive. It's like a tree full of spiders, but it's eels. But we're not underwater. Any? Nope. Don't worry about it. Uh, I don't like these land eels. Yeah, <laughs> evil worm eels. Yep. Well, admittedly, you can so you can see up the sides of the valley here, and you can see that this was, and you know how tall the dam was. This was a was very far underwater, so it wouldn't have. You can guess 
judging by how big the valley is from where you're standing, that there was so much water there that it took more than one day for it to uh, get down to this level, to drain yeah, out fair. to this level. Fair enough. It's, uh, I mean, it's a lot of water. It yeah. is a lot of water. So it's a it's a ton of water. <laughs> so looking at so looking at this village, it might be more. Six, having successfully snuck up to it, do we observe things of note? Uh, yeah. So you're like hidden in these trees here, and uh, uh, one thing of note that you notice is actually the bridge to. Uh, the west of your location, the Black Bridge, which is very close to the village and is going over uh, the river right now. And uh, it is a, as I said before, it's a fine black bridge, or a fine bridge of black stone, excuse me, weeds and rocks and fallen debris cover both ends of the bridge and uh, atop each of the posts is a crown with five sharp extended tines coming out of it. Mm -hmm. That's the particular design from earlier. Yeah. So you do grab that. Um, one thing you also notice uh, is that even though you were hiding in the shade and it is uh, a little past midday at this point, you do notice this slight sort of inward, like from within the capex, you notice this very light sort of bluish glow. Hmm. Don't like that neither. Well, there are the glowing cats. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, that checks out with Gobin, admittedly. <laughs> I'm telling you, like, like I'm I, I'm not lying. I I I'm saying it does. I yeah. I agree. Like, like we are we are on accord on this. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Yeah. Other than that, the you see, um, obviously human people moving around in, within this this village. It's hard to tell exactly how many there are, but you would suspect that total number of villagers is less than 100. Cool. Okay. Just making a, like... Like, you know that there are some that you are not seeing from your angle, and you know that you haven't been watching very long, so, like, you don't have a very accurate number, but you're, like... Yeah, there's estimation less than 100. Is, ...is less than 100. Yeah, well... I think maybe our best bet is to go back to Carl Capek and relay that information so that he can then make war. Sure. Um, as so, uh, you're sitting here and you're like, "Hey, we, you know, we should go back. We should go back." And the uh, the Capex that are with you are just like continue to point at the thing and they say, "No, kill, kill." Hmm. <laughs> I don't think they 100% understand the situation. Is there a way we can signal to Carl? I have a mirror. Mm -hmm. It is sunny outside. Sure. I did not prearrange this with Carl Capek, though, nope. so this is a huge fucking... Like, fucking Gamble. owl. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you can definitely, like, shine the mirror back, but... Yeah, like, I could flash light at Carl, but, like... What does that mean? Yeah. And who is it that's doing it, for that matter? Hmm. Um... Sure, I mean, like, we can just say that uh, you attempt to do that. And yeah. And you, uh, you see no response from where Carl was. Yeah. Uh, whenever... Uh, I guess? Whenever they're saying kill and stuff, I'm going to start saying... Pointing back and say, Carl. Carl. 
repeatedly. Yes, Carl. They say, uh, no, like, they point back and say, no, no. And they point forward and say, like, Carl, kill. Carl, kill. All right. Hmm. Well, if we're doing this... There's a hundred of them. <laughs> we better make this as loud and as noticeable to Carl's war camp as we possibly can. Or alternatively, we can ha we can charge with the Capex and then not charge the rest of the way. <laughs> yeah, Hokuba's feeling for the little guys. You know? <laughs> Hokuba understands the need to take down the big guy. Hokuma who's denying you what's rightfully yours. Hokuma can feel free to follow the charge through to her heart's content. <laughs> uh, that's not what I'm saying. Um... <laughs> Well, somehow I didn't think so. I'm gonna hand... I suppose they don't really have a way to make fire. No. Not really. In Are there fact, fires? It's kinda antithetical to their whole thing, being a amphibian race and all. It's true. That's why I'll never that see lives this... in the mud. <laughs> Are there fires going at this village? Um, you can see a few huts that have... Um, so are they human? Yes, they're, yeah, they're obviously human from this distance. Okay. Or at least very close to human. Yeah. Um, seemingly... Human enough that it might... Uh, yeah, seemingly that it's essentially, human. Yeah, Apparently human enough human. that it's, that it's <laughs> yes. not really worth... Yeah, because I have the thought of, like, handing them, like, pints of oil and just being like, fucking go ham. Um, Cause, yeah, well, they most, have, like all the structures are woven from reeds that you can. Yeah, yeah that would that would uh, work. Yeah, this is this is a battlefield that has never seen fire as a weapon of war, admittedly. <laughs> yeah, so well, like they, they they do have um, you can see like a few cooking fires going, so they oh, have, I get have it. some understanding of it. But I'm just saying that yeah. like. <laughs> yeah, like, uh... like one side doesn't understand what it is essentially, and the other okay. side understands it, but has never needed or been able to use it against the other side, and hasn't ever had it used against them. Right. So, yeah. I mean, yeah, I think, I think Hokuma, like, fuck it, I got two hit points. I'm gonna take risks because <laughs> every choice is a risk. <laughs> um. Yeah, Buscoso's That's doing, true. like, much better than you. <laughs> um, I've got little to lose. Um, yeah, that's true. Uh, so you got two I'm to gonna, lose. Yeah, I got two to lose. I'm gonna sneak up. I'm gonna, like, sneak up alongside these uh, Copex and, like, and, like, see if, like, I can get, like, if, can we, does it seem like there's at all, like, hope that we could approach unseen up to the fence. No. You Okay. <laughs> no, it there is kind of uh, defeats the point of offense. <laughs> yeah, there's kind of there it's pretty bare for hundreds of feet, several hundred feet around the outside of this village. All right. Then I guess it's the part where we provide them cover. Right. Um I'm um, gonna try, I'm gonna try, like, and, like, I guess walk with them slithering beneath me. Mm-hmm. Um, so that what I know What would happen this... if we just started walking back towards the k -Pack? That's true. You could like, do that. Like, are they, what are they gonna do? Like, are they gonna stab us? If so, I'd see them moving towards me to stab us, and we'd be able to roll initiative at the very least. <laughs> and, and then... And then I'd only have to fight five Capex as opposed to 100 Reed people. Yeah. Alright, so... Uh, we'll say that you, could you, try that to Buscoso run back. makes, like, 
you know, a move to, like, walk in that direction. And, like, two of them grab you by your arms and turn you towards the, uh, the village. And they say, you, you kill. We kill. 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 I guess I'm going to say, we die. Many. I well, know they're not gonna get it, but <laughs> they—they're oh, just like yes, kill, right? Die and kill. Got it. All right. So yeah, I mean, Kirpek like needs what's... to talk to his HR department about getting more flexible employees. I—I <laughs> 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 I, I mean, you know, like I imagine Buscoso that like once the chaos starts. We can skedaddle. You'd think that, yeah. Yeah, that's my hope. Is that if we can get enough chaos going. Yeah. How's that golem situation looking? Uh, you glance back towards the dam and you do not see anything yet. Alright. Um. <laughs> then. Is it yeah. too much to hope that it, like, ran out of power or died or something? You know what, let's hope that, but let's not hope too strongly. Yeah. Let's not expect that. Um, it, felt, it rolled a nat- Shit in one nat- hand and hope in the other. Yeah. yeah. It, roll- it, rolled a nat- <laughs> it rolled a nat 20, which is bad. Uh, and, um, and fell off the, the, the fucking cliff or something. It just smoked it, yeah. It just yeah. got smoked. Uh, Very sad. Like, as you're it, it, watching, it triggered you just, one like, of the see traps. It fall off the inside of the dam. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, it would be really amusing if, like, oh no, the joints hadn't been maintenanced for literally five, like, thousand years. Whoops! <laughs> <laughs> this arm fell off while I'm climbing. <laughs> well, Buscoso, I'm gonna hand you a pint of oil. Right. I'm like. I think uh, I think, like if the if the Kopecks begin their assault, like if they run ahead of us with their assault, then we can at the very least like light some of the structures on fire and then like fucking book it. Yep, this is a waste of perfectly good mechanical oil. But all right, <laughs> it's kerosene. Mechanical but... oil. <laughs> <laughs> like my granddaddy used to use before he caught on fire. Oh. I'm so sorry to hear about that, Buscoso. Um, it's a bastard. <laughs> uh, I'm not sorry, then. Um, you, da- you, you, you disrespect damn my family. <laughs> you disrespect my family. You know what, Buscoso? Hey. Let's just light their houses on fire and be done with it. That's the most sensible thing you've said all day. Excellent. Um... <laughs> So yeah, I guess, like, Hokuba, if Buscoso doesn't want to take this risk, Hokuba's gonna walk while the Kopex oh. slither, and I don't know. Oh, Buscoso's gonna walk forward, too, because the last time he didn't walk forward, two of them grabbed his arms, so... That's true. Well, I mean, if you want to slither with them, Buscoso, you know. No, I think I'm good. Okay. <laughs> my, <laughs> my, my, my standing is not that hot, different from many people slithering, to be perfectly frank. All right. <laughs> yes. So, and I'm gonna give him the everybody is good. Also, hello there. Also, yeah. proper, mus- proper music timing. Yeah. Uh, when you say um, everybody is good, and this time it, it's less, or when you greet them, this time it's less. Everybody is good, and the reaction is much more like hello there. <laughs> And yeah. they, and they go, like, General Kenobi! <laughs> General Kenobi, we say. <laughs> ah, section ratio! No. Oh, oh. Batter to death them! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sweating. Yeah, me too. My computer is putting out some BTUs right now. Who needs yeah. a fucking heater when you've got a computer that's operating at 70 degrees? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Alright. 
interestingly, it's all Firefox. I know. Between... Firefox has been getting harder to, like, has been Well, no, it's weird. because I'm running both the Foundry and Video Ninja. <laughs> I mean, I know, but I'm just saying, recently I've been going, like, Firefox, why are you using three gigs of RAM? Like, you have two tabs open. <laughs> oh. I mean, it depends on what those tabs are. <laughs> I know, but they're just, like, normal shit. Anyway. Anyway, yeah, so... Uh, Y'all are moving forward and uh, attempting to hide these capex. So I guess so. Um, yeah. let's do an auction. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done that. I know it's we have. Been a... Yeah. It's been a hot fucking minute. Um, I've watched you guys do it once on. On, on one of your streams, and I so you you should be able to completely change forgot how to do it again in the chat. You should be able to change it to a self roll at the all right. At the so I'm rolling one d six. Yeah, let's see, slash r d six. Can go. you see that? Uh, I see a pink I mean, die. Could you see my dice? Yes. I don't have the seeing dice turned on, but I don't I don't see well, the result of your die. Yeah, I see question mark for your die. Okay. But now, but if I click on mine, I can hit reveal. If I right click on the chat box, I can hit reveal and it will show it to you. Oh do yeah, you... I do see that. Oh, yes. So you see now what I rolled? Yes, uh, you rolled four, a four. Right. Okay. Cool. Should... Should and we reveal anything? I don't no, know not how this yet. works once again. <laughs> I that yeah. was just doing that one as a uh, um as an example. So I will roll for the Capex here. D six and another one for the villagers. Um yeah, uh, so the, who's going to start here? Um, I need to set, set the, uh, the baseline here. The baseline is going to be the Capex are going to get up and suicidally charge this, uh, the fence. Yeah, I'm, uh. And, uh, attempt to, like smash a hole in this fence before they yeah, go down. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna not do that. <laughs> so that is going to be the one. Um, let's... Let me grab the... They're betting one, and that's their... Yeah, they are betting one for now. So let's go to auctions here. Auctions 22, 62, and 66. I think it's on 62. Because auction tactics is on 63. All right. So for an auction, all participants roll uh, 1d6 each. You hide the die, but add the result to the attribute that their characters will use in the contest. Which one depends on what the individual character does, like a regular contest. The first participant can now make a bid that they promise to beat in a successful roll for the modified attribute from above. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is sort of like... A very yakety sax moment here. So <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. It's kinda, so what you're doing uh, is is um, you're going to say, hey, I am going to do this to get this outcome, and this is what's going to happen when I succeed. And you are uh, when you bid. So you have your attribute, whichever attribute that is. So if you're like, I'm going to sneak, it would be a dex check. Okay, just just as an example here. Yeah. So then you would take the number that you rolled, the private mm -hmm. number that you rolled, and you add that to your ability score. And that's what your auction, that's what you need to roll under to succeed at this auction. Make sense? Yeah. That's the new DC that you have for your, this ability check. Is your ability plus whatever you rolled. Right. So basically, you got this okay. D six bonus to your ability. Makes sense. But you need to roll over your bet. 
So it's right. between the number you bet. It's over the number you bet, but up to and including the number, you know, your modified, your modified ability yeah. score. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. That sounds like a no. <laughs> no. That sounds like it, the most uh, unconfident yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm hoping that it will become clear as I do it. <laughs> well, this well, is I'll the make part a where bet. you need to understand before you go in. Um, All right. You need to understand like what it is you're trying to... Your win state... Uh, whoever bids the highest, so it will go around until uh -huh. everyone either, like, passes yeah. or... Yeah, until everyone passes. Um, so then whoever is has the highest bid rolls first. They want to roll over the, the number that they bid, but under the number of their ability score plus the hidden D6 that you have. Okay. And whoever succeeds first, whoever, whoever gets succeeds the success... Whoever succeeds first wins, and everyone else fails. Right. And so whatever they say is going to happen is what happens. So right, right now, the the Capex have made their initial uh, bid of 1, meaning that they have to roll over a 1, but under their modified ability score, to... Uh, pop up and attack the fence and break a hole in it. Alright. I mean, but that's not a bid with us, though. It is. You are all in the same auction. Okay, well, what are we trying to do? That's up we to can... you. What are you trying to do? Hokuma is gonna bid, I don't know, three? Okay. And, um, and I could just linearly go up, but Whatever. He's going to bid three, um, and she is going to say hello there in the damn builder's tongue, um, and attempt to uh, convince everyone who hears her saying this that everything is perfectly fine and nothing bad is about to happen to anyone, and that she is just a friendly woman uh, approaching this village. Okay. Buscoso so that, is going... that's going to be, that's definitely going to be like a charisma yeah, I'm betting with my charisma, yeah. Okay. Can you have... So, are we betting with multiple different attributes? No. You're only betting one, one well, move Well, I'm, I'm, I mean... Well, yeah, I'm just meaning, like... Oh, uh, yeah, you don't Hokuma's have to bet charisma, charisma versus... because Maggie used charisma. You can use whatever you want. Uh... I guess decks to start sneaking the fuck away. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you like, if you win, then Buscoso's just gonna sneak away? I mean, again, <laughs> they're, like, what? What's my motivation? <laughs> I, I'm just trying to clarify to make sure that I'm... Yes understanding the, yeah, pretty the, much. the goal of the action. Yes, that is the goal of the action, is to try and disengage from combat and sneak away without anyone seeing and hope, assuming I am an enemy. Alright, uh, so you have... And I'm going to You bet. have to bid at least four, because Maggie bid a three, so you have to bid higher than that. You can cool. default to one, I think. What? Never mind. Yeah, yeah. I'm bidding. I mean, I'm, you I'll can bid either four. bid one, and you cannot change your bid again in the future, or you can. You have to raise. <laughs> I I'm raising. Then I'll I'll bid four. Okay. All right. So, uh, that will be a dex check. If Buscoso or yeah, when it gets to Buscoso's turn in the auction, you will bid a dex check that has Do to you be get a... at least a five. Plus, do you get? Uh, yeah. And it has to be less than or equal to your dex, plus your dex. the the hidden d6. Makes sense. Yeah, sounds good. Uh, is there? Uh, do you? Yeah, you can, can still you take get advantage. advantage? 
All right, you can cool, still get advantage on that. I'm still going to use the Ivory Guard to sneak away. Right. It's just a regular uh, skill contest other, other than that. Yeah. Um... Yeah, the... Let's see, what did they... Okay, so the... Uh, the villagers are going to bid a six, and they are going to uh, see the capex uh, hiding near your feet, and they are going to fire uh, with their rudimentary bows a uh, volley of arrows at everyone in the area. All right. I... So you can either outbid them, they are at a six, you can either bid again at a higher number, at least a seven, or you can pass and uh, not increase your bid anymore. Yeah. We're at a six. Mm-hmm. So if you hold, does it just mean that, like, if they succeed, then they beat me, but if they fail, then I, like, we go to the next person? Yeah. Yes, that works? exactly okay, that. Cool. So if they cool, succeed, cool. if they succeed their test and they roll, you know, a seven or higher up and underneath their modified ability score. Yeah. Then they will uh, do an AOE attack, basically. Yeah, cool, cool. But if, cool. They, if they fail, then it goes on to the next person. I... I really don't want them to do that. I... <laughs> You breaking up there, Zach? Uh oh. I'm just hearing who <laughs> woo woo woo. Uh, oh, you're exploding there, Zach. Not. Nope, that's not better. So it. There we go. Kind of. Oh, there's a Zach. I... It's a voice. Yep. So, does it go back around? Um, yeah, it will go back around. Like, oh. you you can raise, or you can pass. Yeah, I know. My options. question is, who's the one raising next? We can't both raise to seven at the same time, right? Yes. Uh, sure, yes. We can, I mean, we can keep the same order. So, who's the next person? I guess... Whichever the... one of you wants to go more. <laughs> yeah. Uh... I will. Sure. I'll raise to seven. Okay. The same and, thing. Uh, I'm... Yeah. It's just everything's fine. And I am going to hold. Okay, so. Maggie's going to raise to seven, and Zach's going to I'm going to hold. hold at five, I believe, right? Yeah. All, All right. right. So, Maggie, reveal your die and roll your charisma check. Reveal to everyone. It's a five. Oh, God help see. me. It didn't reveal. It did. I see it. It's collaborators. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so it is. Alright, so... You're trying to roll over... Over, over seven, seven under... Under 15. Under 15, and... Uh, do you think that House Topos is going to help you in this at all? <laughs> I mean... I am being... Like... An evil fucker. Like... <laughs> I'm being a little bastard. I'm like, hey! Hey, it's me, friendly person, who definitely isn't surrounded by the enemies that will destroy and devour you. Yeah. I'm, you know, lying about war. 
sure. Yeah. Not really about trade, but whatever. That's the best argument I've got for how Satopo's giving me. But that's good enough. I'll take it. Um, I think that I think that gives you like a bonus. I don't think that's like full advantage. Oh, uh, no. I'll just roll. Yeah. Oh <laughs> no! <laughs> well, no help was going to help me there. Well, that was unfortunate for you. Well, I failed. Next. Sure did. All right. Uh, they are going Not to roll from the sounds of it. Plus, plus a four. <laughs> uh, so they they're at a six, and they are going to roll oh. slash R one D twenty. They are trying to roll a seven or Above higher, a... and under a fourteen. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Well. So, yeah, uh, they fire a volley of arrows at everybody. Um, slash R one D, or uh, yeah, they fire a volley of arrows. They see the capex, and they just point and they shout. And a bunch of archers come over and they just start like peppering w the area that you are in with these. Uh, uh, with their arrows. Wow. Um. Yeah, give me a saving throw, everyone, for... Okay. Where'd that go? No. It, it ain't <laughs> happening. Probably. <laughs> yeah. Good shit, Buscoso. I'm rolling it's pretty to good tonight. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's going to be up to you, it looks like. All right, so... Uh, the, sorry, that five should have been... Um, like, 1d6 is <laughs> too much damage. <laughs> uh, should it be 1d6 minus two, so it's still three damage. You know, <laughs> that's enough. And um, the uh, for a saving throw, that was just like for half damage. So it's two, sorry. Yeah, one and a half damage for Busco, so. Cool, I'll just note one and a half off my hit points. <laughs> <laughs> just round it down to one. Cool. And... I've seen so many people die. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so... For... You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna go, uh... Full Apocalypse Now, Colonel Curtis or whatever. I'm just gonna Kurtz. be in the middle of the... Kurtz, yeah. I'm gonna be in the middle of the wilderness with my fucking... <laughs> you yeah, know, with your... Heart of Darkness cult around me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just go completely native. <laughs> just be like, they'll they'll try and send the other ivory garden towards me. I'll be like, shouldn't have come here. Kill him. You know where you are. <laughs> yeah. You can we've, never uh, judge had, me. You must we've never had a judge. Situation. <laughs> what? We we had a situation with one of our former collaborators. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> He proceeded... gained direction. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> that is unacceptable. <laughs> no, it's it's they've wa he wandered for a time without any sense of direction, but then he gained it, the wrong direction. <laughs> <laughs> we need you to go and just have a conversation with him. Bring yeah. him back. <laughs> yeah. Well, so I'm taking three damage. Yes, three damage. I'm at the big zero. Sure are. Uh, I believe at that point it is you roll on the Oracle of Death. Is that right? Uh, can I make or my saving throw first? Zero? Um, Did you make a saving throw? I like thought my, it was my taking damage saving. Oh, I do. I do Oracle of Death first, right? I do Oracle of Death, 
then, then saving I... for it to go to regular. Yeah. Or alternatively, yeah. you also have the uh, the once a combat thing. That's true. I think I'll do the once a combat thing. Yeah, player characters also have the option to save against incoming damage once per battle. This is an important lifeline. This is a new battle. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. Come on. There Fuck you go. Yeah. Uh, a successful save reduces the damage by d6 points. Uh, right. But does, but does well, not but... heal any <laughs> previous damage. I'm aware. What? Hold up. That was oh, a I self can... roll and a very confusing one. I mean, you could, should right click on it and just be able to reveal it. Well, you'll find the result very funny. Wild. <laughs> I don't think that's a possible result on a six-face die. Uh, it's a four. You oh. somehow put in there one divided by d6, but the d6 <laughs> still rolled a four. Huh? I There's didn't some know wild I could math do that. In there. Anyways, um, yeah, so we'll take that four. <laughs> okay, Good so I'm at two hit points. Works for me, you know? Uh, I didn't know I could roll a fraction. Neither did I. No, Div you know. All right, so you, uh, yeah, you just, like, <laughs> get hit with these arrows that are just, like, ah, and, like, pull one out of your shin. Yeah. You're just, like, snap it in half, and you're just, like, okay, deep breath, regain control. <laughs> <laughs> These motherfuckers. <laughs> Meanwhile, um, one of the, or er, sorry, three of the uh, of the Capex have been like uh, seriously wounded by these by these arrows shooting down into them. Uh, two of them book it back towards uh, in the direction of where the Carl was hanging out, and uh, the other three rush as far. Or sorry, one of them is just like down, and another two just rush forward. Like, uh, they've been they've been skewered, and they know that this is like the only moment they they have for uh, for glory. Yeah, for the the last moment for glory. So they rush forward and are attempting to uh, batter down this batter a hole in the wall here, but um, several more arrows and one or two well placed strikes with uh, pickaxes or shovels are able to uh, put them down before they can do much damage to the pit. Or sorry, not the pit. Uh, the wall. To the wall. <laughs> the opposite uh, of a pit, you know? <laughs> yeah, I think... I think our... I mean, we need to get the fucking cover. Right. Uh, at this point, um, several of the villagers see you standing out there, and... Uh, they... Can I say, hello, we're prisoners. They've taken us prisoner. Thank you for rescuing us. Yeah, they uh, appear to actually be coming to get you anyways. They assume... It appears uh, that they are, like... Uh, I don't know. Non-hostile towards you. That's the right word. Huh. Awesome. However, uh, as they approach... Um, it turns out they are. <laughs> <they've>... <laughs> and they yeah, they're not hostile the until they get close, and then they're hostile. <laughs> Fucking assholes. They, uh, as they get close to you, um, they they motion at you, and to like put your they, and then they motion at their weapons, and then like set them down. Oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah we. We've heard this song before. Yeah, but they, we, do we, not, we they do not uh, set their weapons down. They're, like, instructing you to put yours down. Once again, fair point. <laughs> yeah, well, it's just, uh, I'm like, here we go again, Busco, so. I'm like, don't I know it. I set, I set you know, my axe, my yep. shit down. Uh, Same. Yeah, so this group of villagers comes over and, like, grabs all your stuff, like, pats you down, and, um... 
sort of like restraining you, but not particularly like. Um, yeah, they, like I they do. just restrain you, and they're not. Yeah, they're not tying you up or anything like that, and they're not like twisting your arm and up behind your head or anything like that. They're just like right. being like, "Hey, we're using force to like direct you, but they're not being particularly like um, violent harmful. towards you." Yeah, yeah, they're not being harmful about it. Cool. Cool. Uh, um, and they drag you uh, inside of the village. And they drag you into uh, one of these makeshift, re well, not even makeshift, uh, one of these reed huts. And there is a larger man sitting there, and he has a uh, sort of like this crown that appears to be made of some of also made of this like piratized metal but it has uh five spikes coming out of the crown there mm -hmm. and he says um hello there <laughs> my name is Akton Bengana Akton Bengana <laughs> son of <laughs> <laughs> yes son of um, General the Gankana. Dam, yes, the <laughs> dam builders have trained me in your reed arts. <laughs> oh, right, right. Spinning um, reeds. So he's he is saying this in, uh, but it is in some version, some dialect of the dam builder speech that you have picked up. Okay. Can uh, I attempt to but carry he says, a conversation with him? He introduces him? himself and he says, uh, I am Acton Bingana, son of Acton Binkawa. Cool. Does this does this increase our understanding of the Dam Builders language, seeing where eventually ended up and having the understanding of it? Um, let's say you uh you can you can roll for that right now. All right. Cool. You will increase some amount. Is it? Is it? Is it int? I'm guessing. Yeah, it's int. Yeah, yeah. Roll int. int. Does my ten of roll scholars give me advantage? It gave you advantage before. I know. Yep. I'm just. Well, fuck. Well, that my means best we're result e was okay. That means we're even now, I guess. Because yeah. I had one before. Yeah, I had. So. Because I yeah. had failed one. So. Yeah. Uh, here's another chance to. Um... So you should have Dam Builder language two. two now. Cool. Should I just put that in notes, or are you doing that already? You do that. I don't know where you I have that notated. That. The place you put it. Anyway. <laughs> uh, all right. Which is in notes. But, so, I, uh, um, but I'm done now, so it should be fine. Yeah, uh... Yeah, he uh, introduced. He just introduced himself, and he asks you, um, you know, like, why? Why are you here? Uh. You're not quite getting like he. Um, unlike, unlike the Carl Capek who was speaking with you in some form, you know, some level with the trade tongue, this man is speaking to you definitely in the reed builder tongue and you are you know not well versed in this yeah the Karo Capex broke better trade tongue than you speak damn builder yeah I, I guess I'm gonna say I'm gonna attempt to say I am Hokuma scholar it may come out like is Hokuma scholar? <laughs> right. Uh, you sure? Yeah, like you, you can get that uh, that across. Uh, I it says, if, mm, uh, well, well met, Hokuma, and and you. I'm like gonna say at Buscoso. Yeah, me Buscoso. Uh, 
<laughs> you speak trade tongue? Um. He said, he just asked what trade tongue. Uh, I'm going to speak in trade tongue, asking this one. The do you speak trade tongue? No. <laughs> oh. Okay, I'll shrug my shoulders and say, ah. Uh. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to. S so I guess it's I guess it's kind of your turn again to do a a, a talky if we're. <laughs> I don't want to. Don't want to be rude. Steamroll over you. <laughs> we. Um. Sure. Uh. uh so Acton Bengana asks, um, he, like, why, why you close Capex? Uh. I'm going to make like, uh. Other choice was death. Yeah, I'm going to, <laughs> like, I'm going to pretend to hold a spear at Hokuma's back and stuff and say, kill, kill, <laughs> and point in directions. Hopefully that pantomime will get the point across. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay, um, y'all give me, uh, how about you both roll for me? Cool. I'm assuming charisma? Yes, both roll charisma. I don't know whether this is... God damn it. I think that me I'm pretending... cursed. I am <laughs> cursed. I live with a curse. <laughs> me pretending to stab my co uh, co-worker and stuff and acting a stupid pantomime is wise-ass-ish. I am saying that. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, what was, what was Hokuma doing? I was saying the other choice was death. Right. So, uh, Hokuma, like, you try to get that across, and it comes Do out actually as, like... The only choice is death? The only, the only choice for you is death? And they are all immediately just, like, like on edge. Like, you see a few spears pointed towards you, and then Buscoso like, is whoa! like... Buscoso is like, kill... Kill, kill, <laughs> and yeah. they go. Okay, okay. And they they put it together. <laughs> there was a yeah. time where my mother was overly confident of her abilities in speaking Spanish, <laughs> oh, and no. answered the phone, uh, or was and was placing calls to like people who had previously donated blood for a blood <laughs> bank, and they answered oh, no. in Spanish, and she said, "Hello, this is the Red Cross. I would like to eat your blood." <laughs> <laughs> and the rest of the said, what? <laughs> <laughs> A very important message from the Red Cross. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I feel like that's one of those things where it's like, um, I don't, I don't even know. Ah. Uh, but they have so much of it. Yes. <laughs> Hello, can I have some of your blood? Pretty much. <laughs> um. So yeah. So we managed to successfully communicate. Not I will kill you. Yeah. But they would kill us. Yeah, they would kill us. You had to conjugate the things correctly, and then they're like, "Oh, okay, okay." Yeah, I like, I like, raise my hands up, like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa." whoa. <laughs> Um, and I'm like, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, so, uh, Acton Bingana here says, uh, for too long have ancestral enemy eat us. They were not happy with surprise attack us. Pull, pull skin off so they break wall of light. Drain sacred waters. Bring forth gate of Naraka. Oh, God. I'm glad that the one thing we're getting from all these people is that this is a terrible thing that's happened. Oh, no. <laughs> Hokuma, like both, both Hokuma whose hands were still raised in alarm, slowly brings them down over her face and, like... 
it, it's just the, like subtle uh, the slow realization that she maybe has already died. Um, uh, and her, this uh, looking, her... so looking at this uh, this chieftain, he's got a, you know uh, I would say a the build of a person who has had to do physical labor as a means of survival. He is not particularly like buff. But he is has the muscles of someone who has had to move for a living. Yeah, he's led, he's led a physical life. <laughs> um, but across across his chest and down into his uh, his right abdomen, he has this very large scar. Cool. All right. Buscoso, uh, by this point, after hearing the story and everything, is openly weeping. Because... <laughs> because not out of sympathy, more out of like, oh, I see. He's come to the similar conclusion as Hokuma from the sounds of it, and is going like, oh, I see. We're in hell now. We've already yes. died. <laughs> um... I was a wise ass one time too many, it seems. Hoka was going to attempt to ask. Are you sure they broke the dam? Uh, and Buscosa is going to say, uh, going to try and say, they think you break. They say, uh, he responds, who. Who else here to break wall of light? Um. Well, there's a um, we uh, we not not enough to break wall of light. They Kpec mini Kpec mini Kpec work for long time. Break wall yeah. of light. Steal sacred waters. They seem to be. About they were the very angry They're the about same the number as you water. guys are. And they were very angry about the sacred water, too. Uh, they thought that we took the sacred water for a while. Um, you take sacred water? No, 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 no. no. We did not no, know sacred K water existed. KPEC think we take sacred water. KPEC think you take sacred water. You think KPEC takes sacred water. I think... Giant monster takes sacred water. <laughs> I think evil woman takes sacred water. Different evil woman takes sacred <laughs> water. We see many bad people on way here. You ask what people other, uh, which other people break? Many. Many. Echo <laughs> takes sacred water. Just like ancient. Ancient dead rise. Ne try to kill. Um, uh, Black-hearted thieves come from afar. Try to kill. <laughs> Giant monsters made of rock. Try to kill. Lady of black water who <laughs> break mind. Try to kill. <laughs> many bad people. So many bad people. <laughs> And now Buscos is going to be crying again. <laughs> I just love this, like, <laughs> kindergarten, like, preschool level uh, <laughs> ability of communication. the entire adventure. Yes. Women of Blackwater try to kill. <laughs> oh. Everyone try to kill. Um. Cannibal try to kill. He said, uh, the, the chieftain looks at you and says, You say, dead? S dead walk and fight? Yes. Yes. You know, fatal for. Anyway. All? Yeah. All dead? Any A lot no. of dead. So many dead. Many dead. Well, some dead. Some dead. Many dead. All gonna shrug. <laughs> special dead? Enough! Dead special people? Dead VIPs? 
Yes. One dead was VIP. Not all dead VIP. Many non-VIP Well, there's dead. also the zombie. That was pretty... V I mean, the mummy. That was pretty dead. Yeah, there VIP. was the mummy, but then there was also, like... Yeah, I was talking about the oh, mummy. Oh, a, a, like, zombie horde. Yeah, I actually completely... I, I know it seems weird, but I forgot about the zombie horde. <laughs> there was a lot going on my that mind, night. My mind... Yeah, my mind... Buscos's mind by this point is so strained that like the zombie horde just. <laughs> You're kind just of like, seems oh right, like... the zombie horde. He's like, right, oh no, right, the zombie horde. But yeah, <laughs> Buscoso many... we wept anew. <laughs> yes, but many people, one, uh, some special lady touch people become special dead. Uh, uh he says you. We need, we need special walk, we need special walking dead. I was like, can I, do I want to say that? Whatever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we I'll, need, I'll... He says we need special walking dead. You get, read people special dead walking. Oh, okay. Uh, sure. I'm going to need a nap before I can do that uh, for I'm you. Going to say... read, read people special dead how? Across bridge. You go walk, read people's special dead village. Ah. Um. Do, are they already oh, walking? Oh, right, sorry. Here, let's go. I should yeah. uh, update that. <laughs> Bloop! Th uh, things have I'm changed to... in the map. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to say, uh, 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 read people's special dead dead now us raise yes uh, yes <laughs> oh uh, no. very good very good oh uh, no we get uh, we we support you you us use you drink uh, and he uh he motion or like has someone bring forward a very nice reed like basket with, and okay. with inside are several gourds, and or there's like we'll we'll say there's like one gourd that's like a pot, and several gourds that have been like cut like cups, and he pours from the pot this this better be a health thick, potion, <laughs> this thick uh <laughs> bluish gray liquid, and you say, here, uh you cool. you drink much good fortune health. Uh. Sure, I can use as much of that as I can get. I will chug yeah. the entire goddamn thing. <laughs> if there's even a sliver of a possibility this could be good fortune get juice, you better know I've done it. Yeah, you know what? Like, Hokuma, Hokuma needs all the good fortune juice she can get. Exactly. Right. Um, we are definitely drinking this weird drink thing. What's the worst it could do? Kill us before whatever the character us. in that... Yeah. Whatever... <laughs> no! The worst it can do is kill us before whatever nightmare is in that pit can kill us. Yes. Okay. Um, or not kill us, which might be worse. <laughs> all right. So if you're both going to drink this, and yeah, uh, do you have this to is roll anything, like or? we'll say smoothie level of consistency here. Cool. What's it taste like? It Probably tastes awful. like. Have you ever had spirulina? Oh. Yeah. Oh. That's what it tastes like, because it's literally made from bacteria. <laughs> right. It's a kombucha smoothie. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, unflavored. Yeah. Um, I've, I've been... It tastes medicinal, honestly. Busco says eating it's worse. It's not like... Yeah, it's not off-putting, but it does yeah. have like this... Like, wasn't made for your... Uh, wasn't made for recreational consumption sort of flavor yes. to it. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon turns to Buscoso and says in trade tongue, do you know, do you know that I used to live in a palace? A fucking <laughs> palace. As she, like, <laughs> begins to raise this to her lips. <laughs> do you know the tragedy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, of the one right, reaches. So both of you roll a saving throw. All right. Yeah. Come on. Whew. We're safe. I might not be. <laughs> nope. 
Oh no. All right. Um. Yeah, both of y'all roll two d three. Okay. I don't. That's an interesting thing to ask. Two d three. Yeah. I got three. I got four. You regain that much health. Huh. Nice. I'm all about that. Damn, I could like almost maybe get hit with an axe once. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I might actually be able to get hit with an axe exactly one time. Good shit. 95% chance you'll survive that axe swinging. Yeah. <laughs> eh, probably no. better than that. I don't know. what I can't do that math in my head right now, but... Well, how about seemingly feeling better? Yep. It's like... Give, I give, mean, we're give... at the, the brink of death just a few minutes ago, so, like, yeah. feeling a lot better. Yeah, feel like more than twice as good as she was feeling before. It's just gonna be like, whew! Fuck yeah! Like, it's just gonna, like, cheers. Alright, uh, and then, uh... Better than Carl's treatment. Yeah, the, uh... So, Acton, like, what? pats both of you on the shoulders and, uh, ushers you... What did out the door I'm towards afraid. the bridge. Yeah. yeah, I failed my saving th I know you failed your saving throw. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Cool. Hopefully we don't have bacterial rot gut now. <laughs> yeah, your stomach, like, you feel a little queasy, yeah, well. like, oh. they didn't quite go down so well. Cool. You're Sounds not quite good. used so to this to this uh, culinary <laughs> delicacy. Yeah. Well. So we're marching across the bridge. Yeah, he is. Uh, has like a few people just like march you up to the bridge and say, uh, "Go, go make special." Go make special read dead walk. I'm going to turn to him and ask, How? Uh, at this point, it's not the... It's not the chieftain. It's just like some... It's like some, some villager. And he's just like... <laughs> like, that's your problem to figure out? Yep. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. All right. We that's... have enough... Bl I have enough HP. Uh, enough blood Someone in me else's now that problem. I, I, I have enough blood in me now that I actually might be able to raise a dead. I can cast. Yeah, like, it's not like it's uh, resurrection. Got this HP you can actually, there is it, provision right for, for undead raising, so I mean, it's, it's expensive, but it's not like... Anyway. Yeah, yeah uh, so as you are headed to the west here... Over. Yeah. Over here, where you you're able to see in this location here, a uh, group, a graveyard of sunken ships. The thatched hulls of the ships are upturned. Uh, sorry, the yeah, the thatched roofs are upturned hulls of piled up reed ship, reed boats. Like, big old canoes made out of reeds. Uh, they, but these reeds are, like, covered in pyrite crystals. Hmm. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, from this, from where you were standing, you know, just beyond these these uh, boats, you cannot see any movement. Um. So these boats, I guess. 
Do we have our weapons back? Yeah, you have your weapons back. Okay. Cool. Yeah, once again, um, they give you your weapons back as soon as you're not in an audience with their... Alright, I'm uh, gonna take the, like, the end of my spear and sort of, like, flip one... The, so there's, like, boats that are sort of facing down over top of, like... Assumedly, like, it's, like, a almost like, um... Like a casket of an upside-down boat? Kind of. Uh, most of the boats aren't so much as, like, just flipped over as they are, like, stuck... St like, sticking up out of. Okay. Like, they've sunk nose down into this muck. Huh. Which is sinking into... in between your toes. <laughs> I, like, use my spear to sort of, like... like peer inside of one? Like, can I pry one open or flip it over? Sure. Uh, I just don't want to touch them. You're not able to, um, like, flip one over. Uh, these things are very tall, very big, uh, very heavy, more mm -hmm. importantly. Uh, it's, it's like a 20-foot-long woven reed canoe thing. That's like yeah. stuck, stuck upright. It's covered in iron pyrite, pyrite crystals. So this is like yeah. a, a very heavy piece of. Uh, yeah, I really just want to take a peek. Like, are there right. dead bodies in there? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so when you like peek around, however, you also are able to see a person who is likewise encrusted in these iron pyrite crystals. <laughs> And in its hand is a, again, encrusted iron uh, sword that has a shape that is very reminiscent of uh, Varister. Oh, boy. It looks like a pyrite-covered cheap copy of Varister. Yeah. Yeah. Do you still have that mask, Muscoso? Was it you I've, who took it? Uh, it was. Um, it was actually. What's dang it? What's her face? Wasn't it? Uh, wasn't it? Um, I forgot your previous character already. Sorry, Tiff. Well, Tiff. Tiff yeah, but who took Tiff it off it. Tiff's body? Was it none I of think us? I did. <laughs> was it none of us? It's not in Tiff's gear anymore, so someone took it. Oh, it's not in Buscoso's gear. Well. Is it in Dr. Levinston? No, that's a demon core. <laughs> it looks... Uh, I don't see it in the Lakshi anyway. cargo. So it's not anywhere, which I guess just means we lost it. Which checks out honestly yeah. again so guess not <laughs> all right well we don't have it on hand either way if it's not in either of our in inventories yeah uh, let me see well, I wasn't wasn't there wasn't there uh, there's so many dead bodies I have to go through <laughs> I don't think it ever got made into a gear item, now that we mention it. You don't think what? Yeah, because it's not, it's not in anyone's gear. Huh. That's weird. Okay. Well, that's something to do. Well, we can figure that out later. Yeah. So, like, I have a miracle that's, mm -hmm. like, maybe resurrection applicable, but I would have to do a full rest to be able to cast it, because I'd have uh -huh. to, like, make it active. Um, and, like, I don't really have, like... We, I don't know. Do either Varister know? is in the hands of who? Is it you, Buscoso? Yep. You know, it doesn't make sense that Buscoso wouldn't also have... The mask? Yeah, the I mask. would have taken fucking everything. <laughs> um, especially since I was the one identifying them, but, you right. know. 
Oh, I know what it was. We were using it for that, uh, that big song and dance to trick the villagers. Yeah, Tiferet was wearing it. So it was it. on Tiferet. And then mm. Tiferet got thrown into a fucking boat. <laughs> Face first. Right. Ate a whole house. Yeah. So, I might have gotten it. I probably did. Maybe? We can figure it out later. Well, kind of no better time to have it than now, but... Okay. Um, well, I then I have it. Boop. <laughs> if, like, either you're gonna let me have it, or we should move on, so... Yeah. I mean, sure. Well cool. I mean, that's worth, I, that's my first thought, is like, stick that mask on one of them. Or, here, I've got an idea. Roll intelligence. That's yeah, a good yeah. thought. Was Busco so smart enough? Was Busco so smart enough to remember to just like, oh yeah, we're here to make money. Nope. <laughs> Although... I could argue that uh, Dwinde's love for anything old and ancient should give me an advantage. Sure. That's reasonable. <laughs> That's better. There you go. Alright, yeah, so you've got the mask. Uh, let me <laughs> let me make something real quick for that. Alright, um, so... So what are you going to do with this mask? I'm going to try and put it on... The... Wait, actually, no. Hold on. Let me investigate these dead people. Yeah, that's maybe that's a good thought. Like, let's look around here. Let's carefully assess both the interiors of this place, what artifacts they're with, what Interior their condition is with. Alligator. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'll immediately start by investigating these like pyrite encrusted mummies. Yeah. Like, we, we, I'm not putting a magical mask on another dead person until I know what the fuck is gonna happen when I do that. <laughs> well, I don't have high hopes that we'll know what the fuck's gonna happen when I know, we do but that. I'm going to at least know a little bit better, I hope. Yeah. So, should we roll int or something in order to find out, like, investigate the general area, or? Um, just tell me what you're looking for. We'll... I'm looking for any signs of how the hell to bring these boyos back to life, or any signs of life, or movement, or... I'm looking for clues. I'm trying to scooby-doo my ass out of this situation. Yeah, um, sure. You are... Like, you, uh, poke at these... At these, uh... At one of these pyrite-encrusted bodies, and... Yeah. Uh, I don't know. You get a. Uh, you you get a feeling there's, there's like the essence of winter within these things, but yeah. there is also uh, within them there is also a mild or a minor uh, essence of heart that remains. Yeah, they're still alive. All right, that sounds. That is a sprouting dead, if ever I've seen one. So, anyway. Is there any writing anywhere around? Yeah, that's another thing. Mm, not a, not on these. Okay. Um. Well. Who's going to You uh, want to do... Beyond, beyond writing, uh, another language that exists is artistic aesthetic. And yeah. what you uh, notice... Uh, poking around inside of these is that uh, the ships here have the same sort of structure that the uh, the the boats that have become the houses uh, of the living uh -huh. in the the reed people yeah. over here they're exactly the same as that but also they are the same as the golden boat that you found turned upside down. Uh, right outside yeah. of Polna Golem. You know, Buscoso, if I were yeah. to uh, guess... They, and additionally, 
they are very they have a very similar sort of structure that is reminiscent of but lower quality of the funeral boat from within the tomb within the mm-hmm. dam i'm getting that uh, uh there's been a lot of these people's influence <laughs> well if i were to guess buscoso now this is uh-huh. merely my assumption i think these reed people are like the descendants far more primitive descendants of the dam builders or at least far less our collect our architecture architecturally inclined descendants yeah of the dam builders which makes me think that maybe the dam builders well well they well everything about them is potentially deeply frightening it does give me some solace that it seems that this dam was built specifically to solve what looks to me like a very real serious problem (laughs) which is whatever is uh, behind those mirrors I think everyone here just wants the dam to be put back together. (laughs) Except for Echo's crew and whoever that lady was. It's starting to look that way. You know, my... uh... my Yes. I think you're right, and also, I bet, I bet, I bet, that they found something they thought was really cool, because that's what uh, the race of man likes to do. They found something they thought was really cool, of mm-hmm. uh, uh, some sort of dragon or a god who's enchained, uh, enchained by other gods since the dawn of time, or like <laughs> uh, a, a fragment of a reality or something, and, and they were like, yeah, we can use this. And I bet they couldn't and had to flood the damn thing. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, like... I will have to say that whoever made that discovery, I can imagine no greater flattery than your discovery being so great and so terrible that they have to build a three-mile-wide dam to put three it away. Three-mile-wide and, like, a kilometer Mile. tall. Yeah. A dam of unfathomable size yeah. in order yeah. to put it away. But maybe that's just me. Yeah, I mean, if you were I to hope to one day have an accomplishment as terrible as that. You need a long rope. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. All right. So what are you going to do with these uh you're still like standing in front of these bodies. Um, yeah. You've gotten those essences and you've gotten this artistic aesthetic connection. All right. It does the mask have it? No, it doesn't. We already we already identified the mask and verified it has no magic in it. So, right. Still uh, worth a shot. It's still worth a shot. Yes. All they right, have I, magic in them. I will put one of the masks on one of them. Sure. Or the mask on them. One of them. Right. Uh, you put the mask on and it does. It does nothing. Like it's just like they're on this piratized um, yeah. form, and it does I... strike a pretty image though. Yeah, it yeah. does because it's like this lapis lazuli mask that's like engraved oh. with these silver lines, and it is like oh, very. very you're like, oh wow, that's that's, that's really that's nice. That's very striking. It goes back in the bag. <laughs> 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 um. As you reach to if grab I it, however... If I survive this, I'm not going to get murdered by the ivory guard for not paying up. <laughs> <laughs> As you go to reach for it again, uh, you pull it away, and the hand of the um, of the piratized chieftain like reaches up and like grabs your grabs your wrist as you're like pulling Whoa. this mask away. Okay, you can have it. Um, <laughs> it doesn't. Well, there you go, guys. It doesn't attempt to, like, take the mask back, actually. It's just, like, you get more of the sense that it was, like, uh, reflexively grabbing this thing, but... Who's touching my face? Yeah. yeah. Um, who... Or more like you woke it up from a daze, and it was like, oh, that was nice, and you're, like, taking this nice thing away from it. 
Oh. And it's like, yeah. no, no, wait. Uh, never mind. Like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'll let it have the damn mask. Anything that will help, <laughs> help by this point. I'm going uh, to say... Uh, I think as long as like, you hang you, you on You try to, that. like, let it take the mask, but it, like, pushes back, like, no, no, no. Okay, good. Well, thank you. Um, the reason This thing is not saying anything, though. Yeah, I know. It, it, are its lips just sealed with pyrite? Not apparently, because it, like, has, you moving. still see, like, facial expressions. I'm going okay. to say... I'm going to say in broken uh, read people language or dam mm -hmm. builder language, etc. Uh, your your people ask wake. Uh, follow us to village. Um. Ah, finally. You're awake. Yeah. Uh, it, you got like, caught crossing the border, same as us. <laughs> it points at itself and, like, says, does like this, and then says, points at itself again, and, sa and like, lays down sideways. No, no, not five more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Get off! Yeah, it's, if your alarm goes off again, I'm taking them. I, I'm, I'm, I'm poking you with uh, Varister. Actually, that's a bad idea. I don't know how Varister would react to these. I'm not sure <laughs> I want to find out. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> no, not five more minutes. Vaporizes him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wake the fuck up. Boom. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I do feel like that. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes when my significant other's uh, alarm goes off for the twentieth time, you press <laughs> snooze each time. I'm just like, I'm gonna vaporize you. <laughs> All right, I only so... thought I, I, it's rare that I want to vaporize sunshine. Yeah. So what are you going to do? It's very rare for me too. It's more like I want to vaporize the phone. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well, um, I mean, like this guy seemingly is like pretty awake. Yeah. Yep. So like, I try and drag his ass back to the village. There uh, are uh, there are how others. many are there? There are mo multiple. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have many. Uh, I'm going to try to give him tea. Wake him up with some uh, tea. I've got my tea set. It's just going to turn into a tea commercial. He'll just spring to life immediately. <laughs> yeah. Awaken a mummy. Full healed, awaken. not awaken. even a mummy anymore. Awaken. awaken. Take the <laughs> yes. land. They must be taken. Yes. Do you like coffee? Yeah. Black From coffee. the hills of, of Colombia. Colombia. Okay, uh, there are there are ten of them in total. All right, then. All right, yeah. This guy who's already active, I'm gonna like make tea and like serve it to him and be like, wake the fuck up, have some tea. The um, get the fuck it, up. It's a, says, like it again points at itself. <laughs> does this motion and then points at itself again lays down uh, you know pantomimes its head to the side like that and then mm -hmm. like holds up holds up its sword in like a martial stance i'm gonna turn so th are there still like the guys who were sent with us with us no no oh, they, no, they the saw bridge. us off They're at like, the border oh, fuck no <laughs> <laughs> this spooky land place and I honestly, like, I kind of agree. <laughs> I was like tempted to just go back across the bridge and go get one of them and be like, look, okay, they're awake, but like, they're being dicks about it. <laughs> no, well, one one of them raised a sword in a martial way, right? Like, 
that no. one raised its sword in a martial manner? Yeah. Was that before pantomiming going to sleep? After. Okay, so it's saying it was sleeping, now it's awake? Cool. I mean, it Is it awake? Like, Does it look wake, awake now? It seems to be like, if you keep waking me up, I'm going to hit you with my sword. Oh. That's the vibe I'm getting. I'm, I'm going to try... Gonna, I'm just going to say, Kopek. Kopek attack. It, it says, like, like short. I, I know my, my webcam doesn't show my hands if I go like this, but it's, like, short. Yes. And it does, and, goes, like... Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, it goes exactly. Bah, 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 bah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I'm it going... just goes <laughs> <laughs> walks over go... to another one of the uh, the pirateized chiefs and just like fucking kicks it in the nuts. <laughs> Damn! Why didn't we think to do that? Well, it would be rude <laughs> the other if one we just did gets it. up and goes, <laughs> and like. And, it, and the first one, like, pantomimes, like, short. Blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> kill. And. This domino uh, effect continues for some yes, time. Yes, the domino effect continues, <laughs> and they get all, you get all ten of them up. And. Um. Like, as soon as they're, like, gathered around, they look at you, and they're like. Oh, they're looking for where. Yeah. I'm like, we're like, come on. We'll get you. Yeah, we'll just go. We need like, the villagers to follow. see you. <laughs> All right. So you get uh, the ten uh, prioritized chiefs to like follow you back to the the village here, and I'll bet this is going to freak the fuck out of some average guardsman. Um. The fact that we're all so chill about this just is, like, the depth of how <laughs> fucked up this situation has been. Yeah, uh, you bring them back, and uh, the chief, the chieftain, um, Acton Bengana, uh, you know, like, just gonna, I'm not gonna play this out, like, word by word here, but he is excited that you have brought these chieftains back. You get I'll the understanding, bet. <laughs> you get the understanding that uh, the one that you were communicating with is the most recent of these chiefs to be buried here and is ah, good old uh, good old dad yeah like the, the father of Acton Bengana um, this must be weird at family reunions <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like uh, it's like you and then like an unbroken line of ancestors ten, back yeah, a thousand years yeah, yeah ten generations <laughs> <laughs> It'd be very awkward. Well, maybe not generations. Ten chieftains. Yeah. Yeah. It's fair. Um. Anyway. Yeah. Uh. And sure. Like. Also, you can s see that they are like progressively more and more like piratized. The like, there's a back. clear yeah. progression of like how thick these crystals are on all ten of these. Well, uh, chieftains. Damn. Um, I'm guessing their AC, such that it is in this version of rules and stuff, is pretty good. <laughs> yeah, if you're crusted in pyrite, it's pretty hard to hit, hit you with a sword. Right. All right. So, uh, no sooner do you get these uh, together than you hear the shout uh, from from along the wall. You hear uh, a shout being raised in the reed people tongue, and in the distance you can see maybe to the south to the southeast you can see maybe thirty capex. Let's actually move these guys around a little bit. Oh man! Generally so. Uh, you can see thirty of these capex to the southeast. That have gathered to the southeast, and they are. Uh, damn it all! Uh, you know what we're gonna. gonna they have do. assembled just outside and of I know. bow range at this point. Cool. Well, you know what? We're going to even the odds just a tiny bit here. So, 
we have I already have a miracle pricing for this. <laughs> so uh I'm going to use hold on a minute. Let's see. Uh Creations of the Dwinde. Okay. And what are you going to do with that? Their stupid little reed wall is not going to do, I've decided. We're going to have a ten-foot stone wall. <laughs> this stupid little reed wall will do nothing. Yes, actually. And I already have the blood pricing for that. All right. Um, and that is for... Yeah, what, what are you going to do? I'm going to make a ten-foot high stone wall in place of their reed walls great stone wall okay yeah um that was like 10 feet tall and like 20 feet wide we'll say however that was also instantaneous right whereas this time i am willing to take you know i don't know a full minute or so okay i'm assuming that would be that would somewhat help with this cost wise or uh, range wise I mean are, are you going to make it the full 10 feet tall as well uh, 10 is a bit much uh, these guys are little yeah, uh, these guys are shorter than Buscoso so like 3 foot yeah they're like 3 feet tall so yeah 6 foot <laughs> 6 foot will do Okay. Um and how how far like what do you how wa long of a wall are you trying to do here? Are you trying to completely encircle the uh the village or just on the side where the how big uh, is, Capex how big are is currently? The, how big is the village? Oh, it's like big enough for um just 100 under a hundred people to live yeah, in like a bit houses. Much. I am going to just be Let's see. Just the side that has, let's I would say, say just... it's like probably a thousand feet across in diameter. Yeah, I get that. Oh God, you're making me do math now. Diameter <laughs> to circumference. <sighs> okay. What I'm saying is that if you if Time's you're trying to it encircle the entire village in a wall that's like six feet tall of just stone that you're raising out of the ground. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Buscoso can do that, but you get the sense that uh, these Capex aren't going to like sit around and wait for it to like 3D print out of the ground. Well, uh, yeah, but they're supposedly out of bow range. One minute is enough time for that. Sure. Yeah, one minute would be able to get you something like um, shorter, but, yeah. you know, along like one side maybe. Uh... Wait, what? I mean, I'm the one dictating how fast or slow it goes. <laughs> yes. So, one minute would be enough to get it the full height, because I say so? <laughs> okay, um, and what I'm saying is that for the, for the price of two, two. blood, yeah, and one minute you wanted to take one minute to cast. You could get something that is, we'll say, a hundred feet long, at six feet tall. All right, let's do five. Say a hundred twenty-ish, hundred twenty-five feet. <laughs> at five, that'll do. They're short little dudes. Sure. <laughs> what I'm saying is anyway. that, like, of this, of the hex that you are on in the Overland map. You basically can make a wall along one side. Does that make sense? You there? Well, I'm here. Zach's uh -oh. like invisible right now. I don't see him. Oh. Zach vanished completely. Yeah, I don't see him right now. He vaporized. Oh, there he goes. Oh? There you are. Uh, yeah. There we are. Of this... Of this what? Uh, so you see the uh, hexagon on the Overland map, right? Uh, hold on. 
Let me close this note. It won't let me close the note, presumably because I lost network connection for a sec, for even just a half a second. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. I have to re reload the damn thing. Reconnect. Yeah, I'm doing that. Doing that. Give me a second. Boy, it sure doesn't want to reconnect. I can reload the server for you. No, 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 no. It's fine. I think it's my browser being stupid again. I mean, it does it say it's not connecting? No, it loads a gray page. <sighs> um, there we go. Got it. I've noticed that happens if I try and reload instead of opening it in a new tab. Don't right. know why. What the heck? I'm grayed out now, though. You can't see anything? It'll no, load. no, no. Like, the select user, it, their, my name is unselectable. I could I choose will... Sabraj, I could ta choose Abe or Billy. <laughs> Try like reloading it, it now, I'm I just in... kicked you. Cool. Nope. Hold on. Maggie, do you see a red line between... Yes. Like right here, you see a red line there? Yes. Okay, so I was just making sure that my side, my, is connected and communicating. I'm not getting nothing. Yet, just a gray. Damn, I can't select anything. Okay, well, so... While it's loading, I can still explain where this wall is. So you've got a hexagon, right? <laughs> the Overland yep. map is a hexagon. Yes. There, you are uh, in which, one of which these hexagons. sides? Yeah, which sides can I do of it or whatever? Right, and I'm saying you can do one side per casting of this. Sure. Okay. And you can uh, either put it between you and the capex, or yeah, like that's that's what you can get out of a one-minute casting for two blood. And given the size of the uh, of the village, you can get like one side of this hexagon fortified. Cool. I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to see if I can solicit blood donations from these people. Um, guessing not. Yeah, no, n because they don't have any particular magical ability. They don't have any, like, miracle ability. Ah, uh, that's interesting in and of itself, actually. Anyway, uh, anyhow, all right, well, I'm just going to do one side of it then. And Are you saying they don't understand because they don't have that, or their blood has no value? That it has no value. That's interesting. Garbage That's like blood. the first group of people that I've ever met that has that. Uh, you, just haven't, you haven't tried to use blood from everybody you've encountered so far. I guess that's true. It's very few true. people whose blood you've actually tried to use. Yeah, that's true. Anyway. That does have interesting things to say about uh, our pirate friends, though. Yeah, it does. Hmm. Some some sort Shame of Shame they're all dead. Yeah, it's, it's, it's some sort of weird floating Hogwarts situation they got there. Anyway. <laughs> they don't even know it. Yeah. Arr. <laughs> Anyhow, so, <laughs> alright, yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that because you know every bit counts. Yeah. Uh, all right. So um, describe what this wall that you conjure up out of the mud and muck looks like. It's going to essentially be dried mud brick in the style of, uh, but it's not going. It's not gonna be nearly as elaborate or anything. But it's going to look like, uh, uh, a lot of, um, traditional style, uh, what was it? Hold on a minute. 
Um, da, 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 da. Like old Khmer style Watts and stuff. Okay. Hey, we're going with Southeast Asian inspired. Yeah, yeah, no, I got you. I got you. And like, so it'll have a little bit of uh, embellishment. Uh, you know, mostly made by it's obviously a a pale imitation, you know. Uh, but it'll have like little nodules made of mud to kind of have little crinolations and you know little uh, decorations on it. You know, it doesn't have any elaborate carvings or any carvings at all. You know, sure, it's but it's the shape of it, but it is not like the, the fully form. embellished. Yes, it's kind of the shape without form, a, you know, craft without art. <laughs> sure. Well, there's there's still some like aesthetic there. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm just saying this is this is something I made in one minute to to protect my hide. <laughs> well, it also Less... just like forms up out of the mud. <laughs> yes, and dries. And like all of these people around you are just like. Like, they are saucer-eyed at this. They don't... They have one interaction uh. with brick walls. Yeah. <laughs> and that was... Or is the dam. And yeah. And that is the only, like, constructed brick wall. Artificial wall. And the they just, like, seen. look at that. And, like, look at you. And some of them yeah. are just, like... Uh, they say something in, uh, that you pick up as, like, bringer of light. Oh, this could be useful. I mean, wait! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, and that's how they look at you. And then you hear a loud... Uh, oh, boy. You went, you went full robot right there. I am the light! <laughs> and this goes to unfold like a transformer. <laughs> yeah, uh, and then uh, the you hear a large barking going, cry go I'm going from to say, this group of uh, Capex. And... Focus, Capex attack. <laughs> then my, and my that... from my eyes sweep. Yeah, and that's where we're going to end for tonight. Um, nice. With these uh, Capex charging towards, like, seeing this wall form up out of the ground. And the Capex bark as a big group, and then this group charges towards the village. All right. Thank you uh, once again for tuning in to our game. This has been another episode of Collaborators Without Direction. Next time, bring your friends to watch us on twitch.tv slash kigali01 or on YouTube at Collaborators Without Direction. Until next time, we are such stuff as dreams are made on. <laughs> My blood.